Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we have a glorious Throwback Thursday and of course we have a skeleton crew. We've been together, Stephen and I, since the very beginning of isolation. If you're watching this many years from now, it's 2020 and Corona has happened and we're all isolated. Uh, but we've been doing Throwback Thursdays on Thursday streaming uh, pretty much every week. Older games, games we, from our past, games we've heard about, games that we are being told about anything that's like an old, uh, usually like a collectible or expandable, community-driven kind of game. There were just so many of them. There were a ton. So we've hit some of the classics, like the Star Wars TCG, the Middle Earth CCG, the Lord of the Rings TCG. Last week was the Mythos CCG from the same year as this it was game. super fun. 96. But today we're looking at another, and it's the kind of thing I knew, but I didn't know I knew really. <laughs> uh, Richard Garfield classic, uh, Battletech, the TCG, as originally labeled. For some reason online, everyone says the CCG. Uh, but it says training card game right here on the box. So they have the rights to I that, that word. But uh, this is, if you're unfamiliar with Richard Garfield, he is the designer of a little game called Magic the Gathering, uh, which changed the entire industry, so props where props are due. He also designed other games like Netrunner, mm -hmm. Star Wars TCG, which we revisited a couple weeks Vampire. ago. Vampire. Uh, yeah, Vampire. He also uh, did the uh, did Keyforge, which is a much more recent uh, mm -hmm. game of his. So he is just well known as one of the best card game designers in the history of tabletop games. Recently, also did uh, what was that Artifact? I think uh, the computer yeah. variant that kind of didn't like do it well, came and, and now went. it's it's going to get rebooted. I think really in, in some capacity. Yeah. So obviously has a has a huge repertoire of games. This is one of those early 90s card games. This was uh, such a, we, we said the golden age of board games, right? It's probably a, about ended maybe a couple years ago, maybe five years ago. I think we're just, just now kind of in the like past it phase. This was 100% the golden age of, of card games. Um, the innovation that was happening, because so many designers were working on games and so many were coming out and just clashing against each other and players were choosing, all these mechanics were just in this big pot and just rumbling together and you got some really amazing design. Well, and you also had no history. Yeah, yeah. No precedent. How to do it, right? So there's no like established. This is what you do, or this is the kind of game people like. You didn't get to see games that succeeded and failed, and basically decide why they succeeded or failed. During that phase, you also had obviously the rise of Magic: The Gathering, which would totally just morph and change the entire industry. Yeah. Um, and then a bunch of companies trying to get in on that. And this is Wizards trying to do a, a, a sequel, so to speak, a different a different kind of game. Um, and you know, a handful of games actually came out of that era and still are around today. It's Magic and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, which are commonly referred to as the big three. The and, triad. And those all, I'm pretty sure, because Pokemon was in the, like, 97, 98 range, and then Yu-Gi-Oh, I think, was, like, 99 or 2000 or 2001. So, like, the three that would actually go on to, like, sustain and make it now 25 years later... Uh, all came during that era, mm -hmm. right? Uh, not not as many games. Even the 2000s, um, I'd have to really look, but I'm not sure there are any 2000s card game. Nothing was are, really able to crack still in. Active, yeah, right. Isn't that crazy? And part yeah. of that is just the the momentum and the weight of these games. The there were a ton of CCGs coming out, so it was easy for these CCGs to fail. Ultimately, <laughs> as because, it always is, because it's like <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm playing BattleTech, and then it's like Mythos came out. Let me try Mythos. Yeah. Oh, Middle, there's a Lord of the Rings based. Game. Let me try that one. And you can only play so many collectible games at once, and the audience was only so big, and Magic was growing like crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so they, you know, the, the the strong, so to speak, survived, and here we are. But then by the 2000s, it's hard for anyone to crack in. Yeah. And we've seen people trying. Uh, every, you know, pretty much every year you're seeing new games trying to crack into that collectible market. But all that said, uh, I'm excited because I know very little about Battletech, very little about this game. It's the first time I'm teaching you on a Throwback Thursday, too. I'm also excited because pretty I, wild. I was able to not spend as much energy this week trying <laughs> to figure right. out. Because, like, the other thing, can you hear me that rulebook real quick? It's fun coming into this so, uh, like, just not knowing anything, this, right? This is so a 90s tiny. card game. It came Relic? in this uh, starter box. These are, yep. I think this is limited. This is unlimited, I believe. Um, I don't really That's know the difference. An unlimited starter, and what this means is a bunch of random cards, uh, and then the resources that you need. Because so they're not at all similar, our decks, the, but we all have resources. Wild, the, and it's basically the only decks I could find online uh, to, to purchase and buy. But th these rule books came with pretty much all the old card games, uh, even through the, the 2000s. And it, this is, let me just look at the page number here. It's fun to see all the old ad, ads in the back, yeah, the wizard's like, uh, mailing thing, the address on the mm -hmm. back there, the, the phone numbers. sign up for six issues you for 17 You can fax your thoughts. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, but it's a 63-page rule book, um, 
playtesters, it would actually be fun to look at the, the credits on this to see if there's any familiar names. Um, but it's just this tiny little rule book with all this text in it, and like again, people, this is what people did. Um, yeah, and it works. And it, and it I works. mean, I literally am learning this from this rule book, and then uh, going online, there's like a player's guide and stuff. Yeah, that you fortunately, can find. we have the internet now. But I, you know, back in the day, we would get two decks, we would have a rule book, we'd start working our way through it. Good luck. And uh, there's a there's a certain appeal to it for me. I've I've enjoyed going back and learning these old games for Throwback Thursday. But there's definitely there's an energy towards. It's almost like reading a legal document. Mm-hmm. Is how those are set up instead of, you know, now we see these like how how to start playing, how to easy play guide. Here's the list you should do. Here's the steps. We've set it up for you. Just flip the top card over and we'll walk you through it all. Uh, and that's that's a major innovation. I think accessibility has improved on these games tremendously. But the 90s, it was literally just like if you're interested enough in card games that you're getting into this game, you're going to make it through that rule book. Yeah, you're going to have a group of friends that probably is ready to to dive in. Um, so, a little history of Battletech here. I, I actually fell in love with this game early on in my life, not really even knowing what it was. Um, I had a friend in, I guess it was around middle school days, it was Mark Young, actually, mm -hmm. who you know, Zach. Um, I went to his house a couple of times, and, and we were into, you know, the, the standard, uh, what would be considered maybe nerdy uh, hobbies at the time, and we'd play video games and stuff together. And he had uh, Battletech, as did my friend Josh, uh, Josh Taylor. And... Uh, I was young, and I remember getting past a sheet where I could build my own mech, and I had to manage heat sinks versus the output of my guns versus my mobility, all this kind of stuff. And it, it, it threw my imagination alight in a way that really uh, is hard to, to emulate since. And then you'd get your little hex map that we'd get out, and we'd, have, we'd choose a little mech figure and to represent the mechs that we'd built. And then we'd go around, and there was all sorts of advanced rules for flying, like, well, not flying, um, but like falling and moving certain ways what and calculating projectiles and, and yeah, all this kind of stuff. Um, so I remember that. I played it a couple of times, and that was it. I mean, I never touched it again. 1984 is when this game came out. Uh, FASA, not this game. The original Battletech. The original Battletech uh, board game had hexes on it, and like you said, that's the one that I think I experienced. I don't know what edition it was. Multiple editions were printed, then WizKids got the rights in like 2001, I think, and they did a clicks-based game for a while. And then 2007, Catalyst got it, and they still, to this day, are doing all the Battletech things. You've nice. also probably heard of Mech Warrior. Mech Warrior is a Battletech thing as well. You've seen a lot of video games throughout the uh, years under the Mech Warrior brand. You also have seen, I think it said there was hundreds of books published in the Battletech universe. Nice. So it's a long-running thing, and, and the original um, idea was I think they took this fighting mech concept and they imported a bunch of art from animes that were doing it, early animes at the time. Uh, and that had caused some weird legal issues over the years for Battletech. So that's mm. kind of a constant thing that you'll see if you ever are in the, the Battletech space. I don't know if that affects this game, if like some of these cards now are not legally able to be printed that's because wild. of this and that copyright, but whatever. Um, so this was 96, so this is the first time it became a card game in this universe. And I just want to read to you, uh, Zach, really quickly. It's just uh, about a half page of lore All right. to get us in the mood here. So it's the 31st century. Vast empires battle for control of humankind. You command battle mechs, the most powerful machines on the battlefield, fighting to take a planet or lose an empire. Now, fun bit of uh, trivia here, too. It used to be called Battle Droids. But old George Lucas said, I own the droids. He and so they changed it to Battle um, Mechs. Isn't that crazy? I, yeah, I, no, I don't, no, don't think about it, but like he literally was using, basically owned the word droid. 100%. Um, for almost a thousand years, humans journeyed into the far reaches of space, colonizing thousands of worlds and forming star-spanning alliances. From these grew the five vast star empires that make up the inner sphere. We've heard these kinds of stories before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the inner sphere was divided. Its ruling dynasties warred constantly over colony worlds with valuable resources. These titanic struggles led to the development of battle mechs, gigantic humanoid battle machines bristling with lethal weapons. From the 25th century onward, these walking tanks ruled the battlefields. Battle mechs and their skilled pilots changed combat forever. As the price of conflict grew, the inner sphere tired of war. In 2571, we'll be there before you know it, <laughs> the five ruling houses joined together in the Star League, a federation led by a first lord and served by its own army. For nearly 200 years, it brought the inner sphere peace and prosperity. The end. In 2751, the sudden death of the first lord left the Star League in the hands of a child and a council of regents. Young Richard Cameron ruled in name, but the real power lay with the five council lords. 
ambitious and distrustful. They plotted against each other, while an evil genius named Stefan Amaris wormed his way into Richard's trusting heart. In 2766, Amaris assassinated Richard, took control of the Star League in a bloody coup d'etat. Okay, so treachery is at foot. The Star League defense uh, forces, commanded by the brilliant General Alexander Kerensky, refused to accept Amaris's rule, so for 13 years they fought him in a bitter civil war. Kerensky's forces won, but at a terrible price. The Council Lords, each determined to rule the Star League, launched a devastating war that ripped the League asunder. With the army disbanded by the Lord's orders, former Star League troops sold their services as mercenaries to different houses. But we had peace. Yeah, we can see it, right? You see it spinning up exactly. Classic human tale. <clears throat> Uh, unable to halt the conflict, Kerensky appealed to his soldiers to join him in leaving the Inner Sphere. So Kerensky f wins the Civil War and then convinces the soldiers to leave the Inner Sphere with him. 80% of the Star League army heeded Kerensky's call to build a new Star League somewhere far beyond the explored universe. In 2784, they abandoned their homes and headed into uncharted space, presumably never to return. Presumably. Oh, they'd be back. War followed war in the wake of Kerensky's departure. For almost three centuries, the houses of the Inner Sphere fought in vain for the right to rule the universe. These succession wars brought new alliances and cost the Inner Sphere precious, irreplaceable technology. Constantly maneuvering for position, they assumed that the greatest enemy they would ever face was each other. But they were wrong. <laughs> While the Inner Sphere sank into barbarism, and this is kind of one of the cool things about the lore, is that they kind of devolved. Like the mm. technology was all moving forward and then they got caught in war and then it got more and more dark agey. Mm. And the mechs got less good and like everything just kind of slowed down. Uh, Kerensky's followers built a new society in the harsh environment beyond known space. They developed a rigid caste system designed to produce the ultimate warriors. For nearly 300 years, the separate castes of Kerensky's clans were unified by one burning idea that when the time was right, they would return home and conquer the inner sphere. They would become the saviors of humanity, rebuilding the Star League in their own image. In 3048, the warlords of the clans decided the time had come to launch their invasion. With their powerful mechs and mech warriors, they drove straight toward Terra, the birth world of humanity. Faced with a common enemy, the states of the Innisphere have united against the threat, but their trust is fragile. Their fledging alliance is fraught with risk. The clans also vie with each other for the honor of first reaching Terra, but these internal clashes are nothing compared to the all-out war that rages between the clans and the houses. House against house, clan against clan, house against clan, war is everywhere. As commander of a battle mech force, you deploy your soldiers, guard your resources, and attack your opponents while fighting to conquer your enemy. Your mechs are ready to take the field. Are you ready to lead them? I'm ready. That's a really good question. Here we go. Okay, so I like to think of this game in, in what I know about it as um, a game of uh, rows. So we're going to have three rows throughout the thing. There's going to okay. be a row, and it'll be like Star Wars C uh, TCG. There's a row where we're building stuff, mm -hmm. and it's face down stuff, and we're building it up. Mm -hmm. There's a row where things that have been built live, and these okay. are your like, permanent resources generally. And then the top row is all of the mechs that you've built. The fighting. The fighting. And they can attack each other, they can defend, etc. And is the buildy row my back row? The buildy row is your back and row. And then I put, basically, that's face down stuff, then there's face up stuff in the next row, which is like my resources, mm -hmm. and then there's my mechs out on the front line. 100%, right. you got it. I got it. Now how you win the game is you run me out of deck or I run you out of deck. Classic. Now this is where Netrunner mechanics come in a little bit. You can send your mechs to attack my deck, it's called my stockpile. And it, for however much damage you do in my deck is how many cards I discard. Mm. And so that's one way to directly do damage. Okay. You can also attack my scrap heap, which is my discard pile. Nothing actually happens in the game when you do that, but there are certain cards that might say if you successfully attack sure. the scrap heap, such and such happens. You can also basically attack anything that I have on the board. A resource, a face down card, a face a mech. Anything I'm constructing, anything that I've already nice. built, any mech that especially yeah, just like mechs in that you can, you can go into their base or their factories or whatever. 100%, yeah. Um, and then mech speed is going to have a lot to do with the game. So I'm going to lay out, I've got, we've got our four stacks of cards. The first stack is called our, essentially our resources. And we have, this is one of the cool things about this game, is that all of these are different types of support resources, but they have different art on them, even if they're the same name, right? It's oh. so like you might have munitions or assembly, they have different art, the exact same effect. So exact support, same flavor text, exact same everything. Support assembly, support munition, munition I yeah. get it. So I'm just gonna lay out one of each, and we're gonna talk about what they do. Yeah. 
Now you see the little tap symbol on these, right? So if and we, we can pull actually up, like, call it tap. support assembly or support politics, they have a little tap symbol and they say they have that little R symbol as well. So that means that you can tap it to generate one resource. Okay. Right? So that's the little tap symbol, a little R, it says tap to generate a resource. So the first one is politics. Yep. Politics does nothing extra except for give you money. Okay. Just resources. Then you have support assemblies. Those give you money, but also, as long as you have something in your command area that says assembly on it, even if you have seven support assemblies, this ability only works once. It's a yes or no question, on switch or off switch. If you have an assembly in play. If you have assembly during the repair reload phase, you can spend a resource to repair one point of damage from a mech. Okay, so I can tap to give me a resource, and then during the assembly phase, I can repair something. Yeah. And I, if I just have one of those out. As long as you have one of those out. If yeah. I have five the resource out, can come from anywhere. It doesn't have to come from the support directly. Just yeah. know that you, like, you have factories, so now you can repair your mechs. So, but if I had five of them out, I could generate five resources, but I can only heal once. Correct. All right. You nailed it. Then we have logistics. Similarly, so all By of these the way, are... By the way, I'm already starting to understand how this works, <laughs> and it's great. It's actually surprisingly great. All of these are, are uh, going to function the same way, right? Yeah. They all give you a resource. So logistics say you can restock a card at the end of your turn. That means you put one from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Okay. So it's a way to kind of heal your stockpile, right? You can kind of keep building it up hmm. as you go along. Munitions means that normally whenever you fire missiles, this is classic 90s, by the way, I roll, let's say I have two missiles, mm -hmm. I'm going to roll two dice. On a one or a two, the missile succeeds, and a one means it does one damage, a two means it does two damage. Three, four, five, or six means nothing happens. So missiles actually want the one and the two. But if I have munitions out, a three works. And deals three damage. And deals three damage. Oof. So your right. missiles become awesome with munitions. And then tactics, finally, you have plus one to your initiative, so that's going to allow you to be better in combat if you have a tactics support or something that gives you tactics in your command area. Okay. Okay, so that's where all, all of those function. And do we have the equal number of those in our decks? I don't know, but this stack looks about the same. Okay. Yeah. So those are our support. So I'm just going to leave these here. This is kind of my, I'm going to start forming just kind of a command line to give you an idea of how that looks. We also have other command cards. Like I'm going to look at a card called. I'm going to try to find one without much, um, without much text, so we can just make that happen. Uh, let's look at the Salvage Strike Crew here. So this is a card that's also it says command on it here. Now so I, the rest of I think besides the resources you were saying everything else is random. Oh yeah. So yeah. so the the command. Uh, You're going to have all sorts of different stuff. Oh, I don't know what you have. Awesome. I have no okay, idea. Okay, this is great. But it says command, so it's going to go in my command row. You notice my resources all say command on them. So this is kind of this this command row that's happening. Um, then it says uh, two up here in this top top left number. Okay. You see that in the the little thing. Yep. So this is how we start getting into how we pay costs. So that cost me two resources. Okay. But so you the circle with a number in it. You see that little symbol, the L. Mm-hmm. So it means I need to have a logistics support to play this card without a penalty. Otherwise, if I don't have logistics, I pay an additional two. So if I have no logistics in play, it costs I'm me four. It. If I have it. logistics, it only costs me two. Then it says, scrap it when it's revealed. Return a card from your scrap heap to your hand. So the salvage crew, you pay two, you get a card from your discard pile back in here. Yeah. OK. OK. Makes sense. So those are your command cards. So mostly it's going to be resources, and there will be some effects that are either one-time things or okay. you know, forever things. Now, get one, to the good stuff. one thing I love about this game, <laughs> let's look at uh, Candice Lau. Uh, it says unique on it, unique okay. inner spheres command there. The most relevant thing about this is that you can't play a unique card that I've played. OK. And if where, you, where do you see And I can't again? play okay. a unique card that you played. So there's only one between us on the board, which is fantastic. It's you just like that, that thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, I control her. So as long as I control mm -hmm. her, you can't mm -hmm. play her. <laughs> they didn't care anymore, did they? They don't. That they was don't. the early days. Just yeah. like, oh, there's one of them. Yeah, Why would like, you ever? Oh, I have Vader in play. But my you deck can't building. Have Vader in play. All right, then let's talk about the mechs. All right. This is where we get to the goods. So if I, let me just set up, so I'm going to set up, let's and so say like a command area that looks something like this. Okay. I'm going to not ask questions yet. You're putting resources on these things to build them. Let's say, yeah, the, some of these things are in construction. Right? But like, I can attack that thing. You totally could. Every two points of damage, you remove a, con a construction marker. And if it has no construction markers on it, one additional point of damage removes it from the game, discards it. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, so this is kind of our command row, and then we might have like some Your mechs that have been built up right. here. Maybe one of them's attacked or something. So this is the this is the entirety of the game, is these three rows, yeah. right? 
Um, so whenever you're building a mech, you're going to reference that top left uh, number. So look at the Grand Dragon here. It has a big four. So I've got three. So let's say it's my construction phase. I tap. I put a resource on it. Once I've built it, now I, it's like Star Wars TCG. I can just keep dumping resources on this and make you think it's something giant. Yeah. But if I want to, during that build phase, I can activate it. And so it's going to flip up. Then at the end of my turn, it enters my battle line. Mm, so nice. there's always like a one turn delay. Three seven and six. Mm -hmm. 100%. Um, so let's say this guy does come up here. Now we look at our mechs. So you see how a lot of them have like the commando here cost me zero as long as I have the uh, assembly and yeah. the munitions. Otherwise, you just pay two for them. Otherwise, I pay two. Yep. And then in the bottom left, these are the defensive stats. Got one armor and two structure. Like health. It's like health. So okay. structure gets damaged. It sticks with you for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Armor comes back at every combat. Okay. So that's a standard thing. And then in the Isn't bottom right, bottom right that, is that attack. That concept has been yep. around since the beginning of time. It's nuts. Bottom right is your attack value. That's when you tap your so attack. That's the number of things that you have to that you assign whenever you attack. And then this little M, S, and F is medium, not medium, moderate, fast, and slow. Okay. Uh, and that is very relevant in terms of what you can and can't do whenever you're attacking, defending, etc. Okay. So this is what the game looks like, basically. You build mechs, you attack each other, etc. Okay, now, great. Let's start looking at like different options that you have here. So during the like the battle phase, whenever the the meat of the game is taking place, you decide you put your mechs on missions. And you can have any number of mechs go on a single mission. You can do any number of missions during your turn. So I could do one mission with this one, one mission with this one. They could both go in for two missions. Mm -hmm. Examples of missions are assigning your mechs to guard things. So like you could assign this mech to guard your stockpile. So I have to make it through that before I can get to that. Correct. That's right. And that I can do, I do that with a mission. That's right. With a these are just framework missions. Doesn't require things you a card. can just do. So you yep. can you can assign a mech to defend something. They can defend something. They can defend the support munitions. Okay. I can defend this under control card. I'm with it. I can defend this other mech. And I assume I they to. bounce out of defense at the beginning of your turn. Uh, no, but they can be assigned on a new mission. So they'll just stay there, and then during the mission phase, where all the meat happens, you can redesign however you want it to do, or you can just leave them where they are. Right? Okay, cool. Um, so missions most commonly is like attacking your stockpile to try to do direct damage to you. Attacking mechs that are hurt directly on your side of the board can happen. And then just attacking like your supports, trying to drain you of resources, those kinds of things. And so if I attack your deck, can you block with something that's out? Yes. So anytime you attack, these mechs are considered on patrol. The ones out front. The runs out front. They're not guarding anything. Now, the guarding mechs don't get to be patrolling. They can only defend the one thing. But these guys are on patrol. And so whenever you launch an attack, I can guard as long as the mechs that I'm using to guard with are equal to your lowest speed. So if you have two fast mechs and I have two slow mechs, I can't defend against you. Great. I can't get in patrol and get in the way. But if you send two slow mechs at me, any of my mechs can go in and defend whatever it is that you're attacking. Yeah, against. but to defend a two uh, fast, mm -hmm. what is it called? Fast. Fast. Yeah, F. The little F. So there. two fast mechs. You would have to have two fast mechs. Or any any fast mech could defend in that situation. But you couldn't defend it at all with a small or a slow, a slow mech. Not a medium. Not a slow. No, not a moderate. That's cool. Not a slow. Yeah. So, so the slows fast are mechs probably are really good at the bigger end. and hardier. Uh, and so they last longer and they do more damage, but also anybody can block them. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Now, if, I, if you have two health left on something and I do 10 to it, does that is anything carry over? So here's how combat works. It's really awesome. Um, I am personally a giant fan of, of this combat system because it's super clean. So let's say these two mechs are fighting, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the first thing we do is we calculate initiative. And we both start at zero initiative. If you have logistics, you get, or if you have um, whatever the one is, tactics, you get plus one initiative. So let's say I have tactics and you don't. I'm at one, you're at zero. There are things like jump on your mechs, where you can, at this point, give a minus one attack to give yourself plus one initiative. Mm -hmm. So you get a little weaker, but you get initiative. So let's just say I have initiative and you don't. So I win with one, you have a zero. That actually means you go first, assign all of your damage, play all of your mission cards, then I go, assign all my damage, play my mission cards, and then the battle resolves and the damage is actually applied. Nice. So you, you deal damage as well when you're defending. So yeah, they, they go back and forth. So if you have the initiative, you get to see everything your opponent does. 
and then you get to respond perfectly nice. to it. You can only play mission cards from your hand, there's like events, mm -hmm. equal to the number that your initiative is. So you have one initiative, you can play one card. That's right. If you have three initiative, you can play three cards. If you have okay. zero initiative, you can play zero cards. So let's just resolve this little combat here. So let's say that... If you uh, had initiative. Let's say that I have initiative, which means you go first. You've okay. got four damage to assign. Yeah, so let's say I did four to this guy. All right. So let's do... We'll just place them here for now. Four damage. Okay, and then I've got mine three and one. Let's say I do, just so we show it, let's say I'll do three there and one here. Okay. So now we go to the resolution step. So I have two armor and I take six damage. You have one armor. You take two damage, that goes to the scrap. And this guy has one armor, so it takes no damage. Everything that participated defends, blocks, and then you can continue on different missions. And I assume, like. do things untap at the start of your turn? The very beginning of every player's turn is the untap phase. And if I attack, and I'm, am I tapped on your to next turn? Yes. So attacking is pretty risky. Yes, because you tapped, can't defend with them. Yeah. You can't defend, and you still take damage back. They've got to, yeah, exactly. They've got to go out of the, uh, they've got to go on a mission, and then they, they're not on patrol anymore. All right. right? Were these your guys? Uh, these two were mine. Yeah, all of those were mine. As I, as I, if I remember correctly. All right, so I think, honestly, you want to just dive in? Yeah, I know you're a dive-in dive learner. Let's just go for it. Do we it. Sh shuffle everything together? Shuffle everything together. Yeah. Classic. And then we draw five cards. And then hope you don't get the old mana screw. And then on the first player's first turn, there's probably a mulligan. It doesn't explain it in the rule book. There may have been tournament rules for that, so you can just do it however you I'm want. I'm just going to roll with it. And then, um, but that's also why you have a lot of resources in your deck, right? It's like, yeah. uh, battle tech. You've got to be careful. This looks awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought immediately when I saw it. It's just it's something about these 90s card games. They just, they didn't care, and they just were doing what they wanted to do. It's pretty amazing. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's a, Tyler got a good, um, uh, on a good uh, point here. You can attack a tapped mech regardless of its speed. So if, you, if I attack with a fast mech, you could attack it, no matter what you were. <clears throat> well, so like, let's say I send a mech on a mission and it comes back tapped. On your turn, you can send a mech on a mission to attack that tapped mech okay. specifically. Um, <clears throat> and then if it's not tapped, you have to match its speed to, to target it. Eclectic. Nobody drives mechs like this, son. <laughs> Carry over from yesterday, I think, or Monday, I think. <laughs> and yeah, it's two per turn on the deployment. You can only deploy two cards from your hand per turn. All right. This will be fun. Yeah. It'll be, I feel like this is going to be quick, too. Do you know what the average play length was? I don't. But if it's. Anyone any, out there know what it was? I imagine it's 30 minutes at max. I'm going to guess 15, and 20. Y you imagine with all these supports doing different things, like you could have lists that are entirely. When you go to deck construction for this, how awesome it would be. Yeah. It's like, here's my munitions heavy list, and I'm running nothing but missile mechs. And then here's my assembly list, and I'm just pumping out tiny mechs. It's awesome. Velozian says, speaking of 90s card games that didn't care, are we ever going to see Vampire the Eternal Absolutely. Struggle? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We're working on it. Can't, it can't be a 90s throwback Thursday uh, series of streams without Vampire. That's right. Been hearing about that since I was a wee lad. That's right. And then I, uh, I'll be following along in the rule book, and we'll get into kind of the finer points of who can attack what. All right, you said five? Yeah, draw five. Look I'm at gonna, that. I'm going to put this stack. right on that. I'm going to have to attack, to attack it maybe at some point, so be ready for that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Alan got a, got a good, uh, using those mechs, you would have a chance to defeat Ultron. Didn't need him. Josh saying all the games I want to play don't print anymore. You can usually find uh, some amount of these old cards. So we've been doing these streams. It's been bad. I, I've been going through my old collections, and then like obviously a lot of these games I played when I was very young. So you can only buy so much stuff. Uh, but then you look Thank online, you for... and it's like there's still boxes available for some of these old games, and it's like. Uh, well, I don't know what else I'm going to do right now. Okay. Someone asked me about the Harry Potter TCG. Uh, I would consider it if you think it was fantastic. I haven't. I have never even heard of it, which gives me pause on on its quality. <laughs> okay. Five. You ready to get battle teched? 
Yeah, I'll go first. Now the first player, classic Transformers uh, <laughs> rules here. Sean Smith, what is Iron Man if not a tiny mech? That's actually correct. Okay, so let's take... Also, a lot of these games are available on TTS. Did you see that Mythos previously wasn't on TTS? And then people were watching our stream, and someone was like, went and found all the card images and made a TTS mod? No, no, I didn't for see Mythos. that. Yeah, it was That's amazing. Tight. Okay, so what do I do if I don't have any resources? Is this just how this game functions? Because <clears throat> I didn't draw any resources. You sure. Know? You gotta be able to like do the classic like you draw gotta be a card a mulligan, action. right? Let me see if there's actually a mulligan. Uh, yeah. What cards? Yeah. Yes, Retro Daniel. Everything had a TCG. I think honestly, I think I'm just gonna. I'll just reshuffle. I'll try it again. I got resources. Yeah, <laughs> I got resources for days. <laughs> let's just let's just find it out. While we're here, and make, uh, use this opportunity yeah. to ask how everyone's doing out there. I have a decent number of people watching. It's awesome. Glad to have everyone here. Uh, this seems like a really fun, classic Richard Garfield uh, card game. <clears throat> Apparently, there's a giant, actual giant mech called Iron Man. Yeah, we we played with him in the in the game. I am. Iron Man. Oh, this is a nice opening. All right, you're first. You get to play two cards, right? I get to draw one instead of two, which normally is what happens. Uh, so this is the first player's first turn. I can only draw one, and I can only deploy one. And then after that, it's two and two. Okay. So we start with the uh, basics, the untap phase. Nothing needs to untap, obviously. Then the draw phase. Draw two cards from the stockpile. One card. On the very first turn. On the very first turn. Then we can take up to two deployments. I'm going to only take one deployment. Steven, thanks for being here. I appreciate the comment. Because I'm the first player. So I'm going to deploy here. So these, um, these zero cost deploy cards, mm -hmm. command cards. So I'm going to deploy it. And now you have a chance to like activate anything that's built. So I'm going to activate things that are built. This is support logistics. The command things come into play immediately. The mechs come in at the end of your turn. Okay. So I'm just going to push that up to the middle of my line. So now I have logistics. Support logistics. And then we go to the uh, missions phase where all the missions happen. And then we go to the end of the turn. And then it goes over to you. All right. So I draw two. Draw two. And then I can put two cards down you to start building. Cards down, yeah. So let go of my little build pile. Move, 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 move. Back here in the back. And then I can now do a check to see what I can afford to actually deploy. You can activate anything during the build phase. And like, so these guys, you can build them and then use them on that same turn if you have other things to build. So like I build this thing, command card, I activate, it comes into play. If I have another face down, I can tap this to put a resource on it. It all happens at the same time during the build phase. There's not like a static build things and activate things. Okay, you're... that's cool. I'm just going to flip these over. Support tactics and support politics. Nice. So they come into play immediately. Yep. And then you pass, I reckon. That's the only thing I can do. Okay, so I will uh, untap things that are tapped. I'll draw two cards. Okay, now we have to make some decisions, don't mm -hmm. we? Mm-hmm. Now it gets real. You got a potentially opening volley here, though, right? Yes. Uh, summoning sickness, though. Summoning sickness yeah, of, of, a, of a kind. OK, well, let, why don't we do this then? Have at thee. I'm going to start with this deployment. And just to remember, you have your face down deployment row. This is the support. The command row. Yeah, commands. And then your actual mechs would go. This is the yeah, patrolling mechs. Go there. Uh, and then I'll put this thing face down. I love this is some of my favorite flavor text on one of these cards. And then I'll tap to add a resource here. And that's during the, the deploy phase. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go ahead and activate this guy. So it costs me zero. Uh, this is a Hussar, H-U-S-S-A-R. If I have a logistics support, it, I don't have to pay that two cost penalty, so it's going to cost me a total of zero. So I can activate it now. Okay. This one stays getting built. And then we go to the end of the phase where this now comes into play. 
It's patrolling. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Mine? All yours. All right, I draw two. Ooh, new cards. <coughs> Bless you. Hmm, that's crazy. I am Iron Man. What's up, Matt Garrett? Good to see you. All Played right. this at release at the old Harvard Wizards uh, store. That's Wizards, awesome. Wizards uh, Asylum, I imagine. <laughs> a sneeze apparently kills it. <laughs> it is a zero one. <laughs> All right, let's play here. And I'll play here. So then I can flip this. So, oh, cool. I'm going to use right. his ability. Hold on. What's what's the Hussar's ability? Yeah, this is the whole idea. You can deploy him revealed, so I deploy here to make an additional deployment. So I'll put this guy Ooh, in. Ooh, nice. And then he comes in. Yeah. So I played these two cards. Then I... Well, technically, I mean, I can play anybody. You got three resources to burn. Uh, I'm going to use a resource. Put these guys up one if you're going to deploy back there. So the command row yeah, is yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to use a resource here. Yep. And then I'm going to use... <laughs> I think that's it. And then I, when do I deploy this? Uh, you can activate it at the time that it's maxed out, like basically okay. whenever you paid it. So I'm going to flip it. It's the Falcon, okay. FLC-4P. Cost zero, and then it has a 1A, 1M. So if I have uh, ammunition or... What's the M? If you don't have A or you don't have M, you pay one additional for each. Okay, so yeah, I can pay two for it, right? Yep. So I should have done that. And then I spend two... And he comes out. And at the end of the round, he's actually going to come That's up right. here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the Falcon has jump, uh, minus one. He can jump, minus one attack, plus one initiative. Anti-missile, each missile assigned to a mech in a group that includes Falcon deals minus one damage. Okay. So a little anti-missile. All right. So then I end, your stuff remains tapped. Just mm. We'll get in the yep. habit. All right. Uh, here, untap. I draw two cards. And we look at things that might matter. Oh, wait. Also, logistics. If I have logistics in play, I can restock a card from my hand. Mm -hmm. turn. So that just goes to the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, one from your hand to the bottom, for sure. I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> but it's good to know. Um, let's see if any of these are going to matter. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Deploy one. Tap to put a resource here. Okay. And then going to the missions phase. So I am a fast mech. You are a medium mech, which means that I can attack something and your patrolling mech wouldn't be able to get in the way in time. Um, so we're definitely going to do that. You'll notice that your supports have four armor and three uh, structures, so it's very hard to take resources off the table. you got to get a big boy out and make his attack go through. Yeah, so we're just going to attack, declare an attack against your stockpile. I cannot block. You cannot defend. So we'll do one damage to the stockpile. Discard it? Yep. And we'll come back home. There go my munitions. <laughs> I needed my munitions. <laughs> All right, my turn. All right, everything readies. I draw two. Oof. Something else to keep in mind, if you put one mech in front of 20 attacking something, all the damage goes to that mech. Except in the case of missiles or long-range attacks that can specifically hit the target regardless of blockers. So it's one of those things where chump blockers like the Hussar are really important. Mm -hmm. a big, big attack, I can go sit it in there. Yeah, Kevin, this is just a revolution for me. Just the, the whole attack anything on the board. This concept has got to be used in a future game. It's too good. All right, let's put another politics in play. Oof, I've got one resource, you've got four. It's going to get ugly. Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm about to draw two, I'm sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. David Pease, this is great. I'm back into the Star Wars TCG after your live stream. You asked that people would come to Tulsa for a TCG event. Any response, I'm in. 
That's great, David. We might actually do that. As Chris Hodovac is saying, it does happen sometimes. We, we, we might need to do a uh, throwback weekend. Yeah, which that'd is be just awesome. Like, whatever old card games you're into, just bring them. I'm into it. Um, all right, let's do this. I'm going to deploy Spider SDR SV. He costs one, and it says if I deploy him revealed, I get to make an additional deployment this round. Nice. So he's like a Hussar. Yeah. And so he costs one. Um, so however you want to pay it I'm is up to you. I'm going to do one. And then I have logistics, so yep. I don't have to pay that, but I do have to pay the ammunition. You don't have any assembly. Assembly, that's what it is. It comes right off the factory, you yeah. know? Uh, and he's going he's gonna to party in a second. And then I'm getting it more now than I did. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I get it. You've got two other deployments if you want. Dude, those munitions, you have no idea what you cost me. <laughs> uh, let's go here. And I'll put two on it. See yeah. If, see if I can freak you out. Don't need your stockpile. Uh, then. Not uh, yet. Yeah. This happens first. Mm -hmm. You can send your Falcon on a mission. You can assign him to defend things. Uh, you can I'm attack. just going to attack your mech. Okay. Let me let me look at that. The mechs attacking mechs is the most confusing part. So let's do it. And I don't know if them being tapped matters. Well, that might change my life. Yeah. We'll we'll at least see what it looks like. And then we'll know. I won't really. I have armor, so you're gonna have to really. I mean, I'm I'm gonna get blasted, but I just want to make sure you can actually do so it. So, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What can you attack? Look at this tiny little book. Dude, listen to this. Tyler says, guys, I'm so happy right now. My favorite gaming content providers are playing my favorite, most nostalgic CCG from my childhood. And I'm sitting outside, in the sunshine. Oh, no, I lost it. Uh, with a, with pint a pint of, of wheat beer. beer. Nice, Tyler. That's, That's awesome. fantastic. Okay, your missions can attack the following. Any of your opponent's sites, stockpile, scrap heap, or cards in the command post, except enhancements, which attach to cards and are considered Can't a part of the, the card. Yeah. Cards under construction can be attacked. Any of your opponent's mechs can be attacked, provided all of your attacking mechs are faster than the target mech. Your opponent's depleted mechs, regardless of the speed, can be attacked. Now, depleted is different than tapped. So depleted is a mechanic where a card depletes, it goes face down, and then at the repair step, it goes face up into tapped. Uh, so you get really hurt. Yeah. So you can't attack a tapped mech unless you match its speed. So I cannot attack it. Can't attack it, that's right. But if I do a damage to the, one of those face down cards, it goes away? You have to do two damage per construction counter on it. What if there's no construction counters on it? Then it would knock it right off. If I just attack it? Anyone you want. You can see what kind of player I am. Don't attack my stockyards. Yeah, let's just attack that one. <laughs> okay. It's a grand dragon. Nothing, nothing gained. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. Into your turn. Yeah. Throw so your mech out there. Yeah. Comes out. And nothing ready. And that's it. Go yeah. ahead. So I draw two. Get it. The tempo of this is interesting. It's, it's really fascinating, cool. Fascinating, right? You can definitely see. I mean, when you realize this was designed in '96, there's concepts even like the armor and health concept. <laughs> <laughs> that you just hadn't seen. Like, it, it's just inventing something. It's crazy. Uh, so first deployment is here. I'll immediately activate it and put it into play. It's another logistics support. Mm, you have all the logistics. I've got nothing but logistics. That's how I play games. Uh, and then... Actually, these all untap first. Then we deploy. So now I've got two resources to spend. Mm. You might be bringing the big guns. So let's spend one here, and I'm going to activate this. I'll just leave these on here for reference. It's a wolfhound. He seems crazy. So we can overheat two, so we can do two damage to himself to give himself plus one attack. Nice, and he's a three naturally, so a four is the biggest I've seen so far. A, he's a big, big boy. And then we'll put one counter here. Okay. And then uh, we can go on missions. Now, you currently have a fast mech, so you can block anything that I do. But if you block with that spider, you're going to take one damage, and then you're going to be tapped, and then you're going to untap on your turn. So that's not a good trade for me. I agree. I think the old Hussar is just going to stay, uh, stay on his line there. I'm, I'm going to block already. I'm going to end my turn and throw the wolfhound out here. All right, mine? Yeah, all yours, yep. Let's red him up. Draw two. Come on. Nope. <laughs> wow. I just love that there's a billion different mechs. It's like the coolest thing to me. It drives me insane. Ah! 
The wolfhound passed extensive field tests with flying colors. Dang right it did. And it tells you it's loadouts. I remember doing these loadouts in the game. 35 tons, it's got a large laser and three medium lasers. Hussar's just got a single large laser on its back there. Ah. Ah. All right, let's do this. You ready? What's up, Cubson? Yeah, good to have you. I'm going to do two here. Oh, no. I'm going to put two here. I'm going to deploy that card and put two here. Mm -hmm. And then I can deploy another card. You sure can. Let's put that card down. Just playing with the Dragon Tears, too, really brings yeah, a lot I'm just right back as I'm a kid again. <laughs> This is the greatest thing. Elaine, yeah, we're playing with the starter decks. I think it's random cards from starter, like a, whatever that is. Back when starter decks were just random cards. Uh, yeah. Pretty fun. All right, then you got missions. All right. So I've got a medium speed. So if you attack with your fast, the only thing I can block with is the Hussar. If you attack with both of them, then I can block with both. Because your slowest mech determines the speed of the party. How about we do this? Yeah. Spider's going to attack your Hussar. Directly? Yeah. Gotta get, gotta get them blockers out of here. All right, so let me see, uh, let me see how that works. Okay, those mechs on patrol guarding the specific target can block, or uh, the ones that have equal to uh, speed. So I have none of those that can block. Battle occurs when an opposing mech blocks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The flavor text here is awesome. It says a triumph of mech design. The spider boasts unmatched maneuverability. My favorite flavor text that I saw earlier, it was basically like, the flavor text was like, this mech is adequate. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, this mech is okay. <laughs> All right, mission cards are played when you're assigning your damage. Yeah, improving your mechs. Yeah, universal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Okay, so I think that, I think I can guard myself. I remember reading that somewhere. Yeah, you're just blocking, But like right? a mech being attacked is just basically being forced. Now, you also don't have to because then you wouldn't tap. So, there are... so you can just take it in the teeth if you could. Yeah. But like in this case, I would do a damage and you would exit the board. That's right. So you're probably going to... So I'll block I'll, uh, block with myself, since that's the only thing that can block. Okay. Then and we then... go to combat. Let's calculate initiative. We each have zero. We each have zero. But I have plus one from something. Tactics. Yep. Zero one to my zero. Uh, I'm not gonna, I can't do anything about that. So it starts with me. I yep. have to put my damage and play my zero mission card. So I'll put one damage here. And then it goes to you. You can assign your one damage, and you can play up to one mission card if you'd now, like. if I played it, mm -hmm. if I had, like, five attack more, does that five just disappear? Disappears. Okay, great. Doesn't I'll sign it there. All right. Uh, so battle's resolved. Yep. Armor is subtracted if there is any. Discard go goes to discard. And you can continue on your missions. All right. Five health, one armor. Can you guys see all right? Is the, is the camera bright enough on the board? It's one thing I just want to make sure. Let me know if it's not. We'll, we can fix um, that right up. I will just pass. I'm going to save him as a, a rowdy blocker. All right. You can assign him to your deck, too. You want to guard that. You can assign him to your you Oh, know, he, can't, he can't block something. He can. He can block anything that's medium or, or slow. No matter where it's going. No matter where What's it's going. What's the benefit of guarding? Guarding means you can block even if your speed is less than the attacker. There it is. Yeah. Okay, cool. You're good. So usually your slows probably are going to be your big defenders. Okay, untap phase. Everything's going to get untapped here. I'm going to draw my two cards. Okay. And then I've got some reading to do. And I've got some hanging out to do. <laughs> Hang out, then. Hang on. I'm just going to read some uh, little doggy chats. Okay. All right. So I've got two. I've got two to live here. Um, Steven Knotts, there's nothing sweeter than having an adequate mech on the field. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm going to deploy here. I'm going to resource here. Resource You need here. more bucks. I need bucks. Yes, I do. And then I'm going to hold on to this here. Okay. So that's all my deploy stuff. And then we will go to the missions. And I've got the old wolf found here. And I could do what you did and just try to force a uh, force a, a falcon exchange, since you've got no blockers for that. Yep. I take nothing. You take three. So that leads to two damage to you. That's not enough to kill, though, is it? Sure enough. 
Not quite enough. <laughs> All right, let's see what you do then. I'm going to attack your, your scrapyard or your stockpile. Just the old fashioned victory points. Passing. All Three right. damage? Three damage, yeah. One. Oh no, there goes my munitions. Oh no. I, and actually, let me, let me use overheat. So I'm going to do myself two damage uh -huh. to get plus one attack. Oof. I lost an assembly too, and my, one my grand dragon. <laughs> That's right. All right, mission successful, Wolfhound. Great job. You got that stockpile, buddy. And then it's over to you. It's ready. I'm coming for you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what do you take to get into play? His name is Zeus. How about that? Yeah, Kevin, it does have the where's my land problem. This is a really good example of a game just like Netrunner with uh, FFG did with the Android universe and, and kind of rethinking leaving the core concept intact and kind of streamlining it a bit and making it a little less uh, aggravating in that way, you could totally do that here. You could totally do that here. Um, there are many ways to fix the mana problem. One good way, it spoils did it, you can play any card face down as a, as a resource. Just consider it a blank resource. And then you can at least use cards in your, in your deck to generate money for you. It's a, it's a very solvable problem. You could make a game just like this function very well. <clears throat> and it needs to be made. Honestly, I wish the L5R reskin had been in this kind of a style. It feels like it would fit the Rokugan universe really well, where you could attack their like strongholds. Like you attack their stronghold, which is their deck. You attack their various uh, what do they call them? The things you you flip in L5R when you attack them. You got to attack their provinces. Yep. You can have your provinces as your resources. I mean, it, it it writes itself. It writes itself really. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Picture this. I'm, How many did you deploy there? Three? I did two. I had that one okay, down last yeah. round. So I'm going to use two on this. Mm -hmm. And do I deploy it now if I want? If it's a command card, yes. It is. Yeah. Hover tank detachment. Hover mm. tank detachment cannot be attacked. It can tap to deal damage to one engaged mech opponent controls or one target and roll a die. If I roll a one or a two, I scrap this card. <laughs> a three or four, nothing happens. Of course. A five or a six, it untaps. So I could use it again immediately. Oh, uh, that's so good. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, then I'm going to put two more here. And I assume if something attaches to like a mech, it will probably tell us, right? Yeah, surely. Because that's just, what is that? That's just a big old base. Yeah. Can't attack it. You deal a damage to an engaged mech. Opponent controls or Aria, we target. have not done VTS, Vampire, yet, <clears> but it's on the list of things we're going to take a look at. That's hilarious. It's great. I think Putting it goes your command. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go <clears> Oh, wait. I do attacks first. That's clever. Um, Missions. I'm wide open. But you got one damage. I don't care about one damage. What's one damage? I remove a token for every damage I do? Two damage. Removes one token. Oof. Send them together to do two. I'm just going to send this guy your deck. All right, undefended. This is the Falcon. Oh, no, you got one of my resources. I knew it. I had a feeling. Uh, I was about to draw into something that could help me. Uh, then into the... Oh, let me do this thing. Let me do this logistics bottom of deck thing, because I've got cards that are worthless right now. OK, go ahead. All right, I'm going to bring out the Hunchback HBK-46. Uh, he has Alpha Strike, he gets plus two attack. What's that mean? Uh, so Alpha Strike is the way that you deplete this card. So basically, um, during the mission phase, you flip him to give him plus two attack, so he does four, and then he depletes. And then during the next phase, he'll come in tapped, and then during the next phase, he'll untap. Wow. So it's, it's a, basically, what Alpha Strike is, is unloading all of your weapons. Yeah, yeah. And then you're just like done for a while. I like the flavor text here. It says the Hunchback's massive auto cannon sends his enemy screaming for cover. Beautiful. Classic. Uh, so he'll come out and it's your turn. All right. That's it. Oh, wait. You know what? I don't have any. When, when can max. I use this thing? Oh, there it yeah. is. Got so it. during a battle, yeah. I reckon. I think that's what that means. I'm just using my brain on that one. I, I actually don't know what engaged means in this one. But All right. Draw two. You dirty dog. Hmm. 
All right, first I'll just deploy, good timing, you know I'll deploy mean? here for a, a tactics card. Yeah, you would have had two resources. <clears throat> I would have been in the money. Let's stack this. Where's up. the money, Lebowski? <laughs> All right, and then we'll do. <clears throat> All right. Well, at least now we have tactics. It's helpful. Here, mm -hmm. on a deployment there. And you played tactics this turn too, right? Yeah. So that's my two deployments. So we'll go two here to put two counters here, and I'm going to activate this card. My scrap card. It's a banshee. Nice. So I'll just leave that up to remember. Ooh, a 3 9? Are you 3 serious? 9 with 2 damage? Then we'll do one here. Okay. Give it a little bit of protection. Then we've got the old Wolfhound that can roll around and be annoying. Huh. I can't attack your hover tank detachment. I can attack any of your face down cards down there and try to, try to knock them off the board. I think this is a because you're you're a slow here. So this is one that's really good to assign as a guard. I imagine you might be doing that next turn. So until you do, Wolfhound, I'm going right at your brain. Three damage if you want it, maybe four if I overheat. Not my deck. <laughs> um Sure. Let's uh, let's block with my spider. All right. And because you're equal or greater speed, you can throw a patrolling mech in front of that. So now we go to a battle to calculate initiative. We both have one because of tactics. Okay. Um, nothing else matters there, I don't believe. And in this game, if there's a tie, then the attacker wins initiative. So you would the defender would have to do their stuff first. What if I have a mission that gives me initiative? Uh, I think you would play it. Basically, we determine the initiative winner, and then you would have the opportunity to play that card as the first thing on your turn. If initiative ever swaps, we immediately do it opposite. It's like if you, the first thing you do having lost initiative is play that card, then now I have to start doing my stuff first. Okay. But I don't think you can play mission cards during the like calculate step. So Not sure. Technically, I have to go first because I'm defending. Let's see what the card says. Maybe it, maybe it comes into play right Accurate now. intelligence. Plus one initiative. Choose one of my max. That mech gets plus one attack. I bet we calculate initiative first, and then you get the chance to play that card. Because it says, let me give you the, the glory of this, uh, this phrase, which I love so much. It says the following. Mission cards are played when you are assigning damage. OK. So declare initiative. So you have lost the initiative mm -hmm. because we're tied. And now you get to do the first damage assignment, which is when you can start playing mission cards as well. All right. So, so at that point, you can just totally play Accurate Intelligence. I would assign one, play Accurate Intelligence, which gives me a plus one attack. So then I get assigned two? I think you get to play this card as your first thing, because you're in the assigning damage phase. And then it immediately flips to me, and I have to start doing my stuff. OK, go ahead. I think that's how it works. So you play, uh, what is this called? Accurate Intelligence, mm -hmm. giving you plus one initiative, and choose a mech to get plus one attack. So it's going to be this one, I imagine. Yep. So now you have the initiative, which means I have to do my stuff first. Now, if I had a mission card that would change that outcome, maybe that would matter. Let's do it. It's not going to change much, but let's see what happens. Faint. Choose one of your mechs, roll a die. One is no effect. Two to six, prevent all damage dealt and received by that mech. It's a total feint. It's a bluff. He rolled a one. <laughs> the, the lords are, are with me. <laughs> the lords are with me. All right, Wolfhound is then going to assign three damage, and the only thing in front of me is you. So I'm going to assign three to you. OK. Then mine. Yours to go, yeah. Can I use this now? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm going to tap and deal a damage to you. OK. You have an armor, technically, but we'll do that. Just put it down. Then I roll a die. <laughs> On a one to two, I skip scraps. Can you hand me a that not yellow one? <laughs> the red one. How that so. yellow All one? All right. So uh, what I want is a five or six, because it would untap. That would be awesome, yeah. You could just keep pinging. There's a five. Ooh. It untaps. Let's and I can do it. it again? I think so. Let's do a damage. I love this hover, hover tank detachment. <laughs> That's good. Oh, man. So you, you have two. You have one armor. I'm attacking for two. That's good. So you would already be gone. 
I'm going to not use it again. Okay. Because I don't want to you don't want to, like, knock yeah. it off. Yeah. So then I assign my damage. There you go. Which is two. Okay, then remove anything from armor. So I remove one from armor. You remove zero from armor. Then we mm-hmm. apply all the damage. So I take four out of five. So that wouldn't have actually killed me if you want to try the tank again. I will try the tank armor, again. Because armor, yeah. I got it. So oh, then you, yes, I thought it had three health. So you kill me with the tank, yeah. and then it maybe scraps it right on. Nothing happens. Aww. So it doesn't untap, but it's also not discarded. Beautiful. Well, the also, dice were my favorite. Important there. to note: there's a static rule in the game. You can only play one copy of any mission card in a single engagement. So I can't play like double faint or Got anything it. like that. Okay. All right, Wolfhound, nicely defended there. Your Thank hover you. tank did some work, and it's over to you. This guy comes out. The Banshee is now in play. It's a slow mech, does two damage, three, nine, just a big body. Now, important to remember, the unpopular BNC3E, all their names are typically based on their number, like, letter combos. Yeah, HBK, Hunchback. So cool. Uh, so the unpopular BNC3E lacks adequate firepower for an assault mech. Just so you know. Big and healthy, but not punchy. So he's raw. just a he's just a standard. And All I'm right. gonna use logistics to throw one under the bottom here. Uh, one that I'm probably not gonna build for a while. How about this one? I'm gonna ready and draw. Yeah, take care, Chris Mark. Good to see you on uh, Twitch. You really should bring Battletech to the store sometime. We might make that ever even easier some point in the future. Hmm. What was the... Uh... Kith oh, just saying, yeah. uh, bringing some to the store. All right. Uh, let's deploy this, and I'll immediately put yeah. it out. It's the assembly. I got my almost, almost, I'm four or five for my <laughs> Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> Just also, this is about the edge of the shot, so you're you're good right now. Right. But we can also maybe we can move our decks up. Maybe it would be helpful or back to the deployment. Yeah, I was putting it basically as far back, and then I'll. Oh yeah, that works. And then discard pile in the corner. That actually oh. kind of works like that. So your scrap heap is there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. All right. Um, I declare <laughs> just bankruptcy. So let's put one here, and then we'll put four. Oof. On this. No. Oh, no. Is that real? Are you activating it? I don't know. Are you know. flipping it face up? I, not, not yet. What? I don't have to do that yet, right? You don't have to do that yet, no. But I, I can do it at the end of the turn? Or I have no, to... you have to do it now if you're going to play it at the end of your turn. I'm not going to. Okay. Is this a bluff? Hold on hold on to your seat. Huh. Then I, I will, I will activate this. Okay. Which is my Kashi Prime Mist Links. And you have an assembly? Yeah. You do have an assembly, so you don't have to pay the penalty. So you are good. But I have to do my stuff now. Now you got the missions. You're slow. You're so slow. I am slow. So both of your things, actually just the medium, can do something unhindered, and then the old hunchback can potentially get blocked. All right. Hunchback Mm -hmm. is going to... Collect a camel. Shout out to Wars. Yeah, we've been wanting to try Wars, actually, because it was in the vein of Star Wars CCG and the like. And I'm going to also play another card. That's your two deployments? Yeah. Um, It's so good, though, isn't it? It's really good. (laughs) I'm going to guard with the Hunchback on my deck. Nice mission. And then I will pass. Okay. Gonna pass, huh? Just building. All right, everything's gonna untap here. So we've got three resources. I'm very excited about certain cards. <laughs> I'm gonna draw two. I'm just gonna take a peek. Uh, where are my resources? Classic 90s. Classic 90s. All these cards in my hand require. Uh, Hmm. This card is absurd. Oh, yeah, bring my mech up front. This guy comes out. Interesting. Thank you for that, Thomas. This turn. These, okay. These dragon tears are amazing. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay, I got you. This makes sense. It's not good, but it makes sense. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. Miss Links on chat says Miss Links, the Mac that my tag is derived from. That's cool. All right. Let's um let's see what we got cooking in the oven here. Ugh. I need my assembly resource. I don't want to overpay for stuff, you know, it just feels awful. You gotta maximize that value. Alright, let's go here. Three. How does it feel having two less resources around? <laughs> it feels awesome. And then the Banshee, you've got, let's see, a, a medium and a fast, so it can't defend anything. <clears throat> and you've got one on, on guard duty here. Um, let's put the Banshee over here. I'm gonna, garden. I'm gonna have him guard as well. I feel like that's kind of locked down the base because maybe there's resources on top of the yeah, deck. Yeah, I mean, my Kashi Prime can just sneak in for two if you don't. It's too much. All right, mine. Uh, at the end of the turn with logistics, I'll put one at the bottom. They're using that a lot. I don't. It's basically because I don't have the resources to not overspend, so I'd rather just have them as life and play them later on. Than... Yeah. Uh... Sean Smith saying, "Wishing I lived in Tulsa more and more." Come on in. It's a good place to be. It's a great place to be. That is true. Um, let's go here. All right. Now am I good? You're good. It's ready. All my bucks. <laughs> Straw. Hello, Victor. Woof. Now maybe you're drawing nothing but resources. Oof. That's how this could work. Oof. I'm going to get some coffee. Uh, give me a pip. I got you. Top me off. Warm me up. Top me off. <laughs> Man, I like this deck. <laughs> That's a, this is a well-built random deck. Yeah, if I've ever had one, this is it. All right, let's put a card down. And you drink a lot of coffee today, did you not? I don't know. That's, that's more than enough. <laughs> Are you productive yet? So productive. Uh, we'll put two cards down. Okay, standard. And then we're going to invest in some things. Let's put two here. I agree, Ravage. I'm not, not happy about it. It's probably like an ambush. Three here. Don't worry about it. And I'll reveal here. That's totally an ambush or something, right? What's an ambush? <laughs> Well played. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, uh, Kashi Prime. Let's go ahead and attack this thing. For two? Mm-hmm. You did it. Taking a token off. I'm exhausted. I'll just, I'll end there. End of round. Fenris will come out. Yeah. Okay. Let's untap these resources. Let's draw two cards. Ravage saying, my limited memory of playing this is telling me Widowmaker. It's mm. a cool, cool name for a Mac. I'm excited to show you guys what I'm working on in the factory over here. <laughs> Some new tech. Okay. Um, one there. I'm going to pay two to build it. It's the old salvage crew. Scrap it, return mm. a card. It's going to be that resource. Mm -hmm. Man's got to do. S second deployment. <laughs> what a man's got to do. That's right. <laughs> All right, now we can play some cards here. Um, let's see if any of these now matter more. Yeah, yeah, OK. So we could do one there. And one there, and two there. OK, so let's do this then. Let's do. What up, Brian? Uh, definitely Vampire is going to end up on the stream in the one future. Here. No, I don't even need that anymore. Oh, these are all, you're, you're about to get wrecked. Come and get it. OK, so I'm going to activate this guy. My urban mech is zero. Now that I have an assembly, I only have to pay one for him. He's so ready. Because I'm missing the M. Then we've got 
one here. We're going to activate this guy. My assembly now counts, so I'm going to pay one penalty. I pay no penalty. I don't even have to. I don't even need one on him. But I did it anyway. You did it anyway. Back in the day. This one we're not going to worry about yet. Uh, what up, Bobby? And I can't deploy anything else because I deployed two cards already. That's right. So let's go two resources here. Invested. And then uh, that's going to be it. So I can reassign him to a different mission if I'd like. But I'm going to leave him guarding the deck. And then into the turn, these two mechs are going to come out. The Firestarter, who is a medium speed mech, a 131. And then the Urban Mech, a slow, boxy he looks RTD2 almost like a type. fancy trash can. Uh, the Light Mech's AC-10 makes it a formidable city fighter. He's ready. Or is that Thacko? Let's find out. To hit AC-10. Mine? And he can jump. You wouldn't expect that guy to jump, right? I'd love he's, to see what that looks like. Though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You good? Yes. That's ready. All my resources. Draw two. There she is. Mm -hmm. All right, first thing I'll deploy here and put it out. We got munitions. We got all five in the house. All right, all Let me five. Look back at you what got I full got. Full suite. You'll hover tank maybe off the uh, off the cam. Screen. It is here. I, I got it. This is all. At a certain point, once you have all five, you can just use like. Just I have seven resources. I need to remember what they. Okay, missile recovery, logistics. I'll just do this. We know we have six resources here. Yep, that sounds good to me. And you can do one of everything. So logistics is initiative, or tax is initiative. Logistics is the card filter. Assembly is repair. Munitions is missiles. Politics doesn't mean anything, but a lot of super cool cards have a big politics minus if you're lacking it. I'm gonna put four here. Woo! I'm gonna flip. It's fifteen. The card's called Mad Cat Prime, Timberwolf. What? It's uh, 15, it would cost me two more if I didn't have logistics. It's got two armor, nine health, seven attack, and it has missile two. Oh, wow. And overheat three, where it can do three extra damage and do three to itself. Here's the cool thing about missiles too. Missiles can attack the original target even if there's a blocker. So you could launch the missile at your your original, you know. And the missile, I'd roll two, and it, I would do the ones and twos do damage equal to their value. And the threes, because you have munitions out, also do damage equal to their value. So that could potentially be six damage. Fifty percent chance yeah. of doing damage. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Chris, the game, and now the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, Zach, the wait was worth it. Uh, we'll put two on this thing with these last two. Okay. Uh, he'll stay guarding here. And let's uh, let's do some damage. Yeah, it does hit hard. It's a medium it. speed too. I'm gonna have to have fast things to get away from it. Mm. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. <laughs> let's. No, you know what? This is just my. These are my crew. I don't need to rush in here. They're gonna hang. Okay. I'm gonna be the impenetrable. Mech Force, the Mad Cats. Mad Cats coming out. Old Mad, Mad Dog. Mad Cats here. Mad, Mad Dog's Dog cousin. in the house. He's ready. Two armor is kind of a bummer. He's I'm a timber. Start working timber on wolf. <laughs> Un <laughs> oh. <laughs> Untap everything here. Ravage says Mad Cat Timber Wolf is in the box art mech for many of the Battletech Mech Warrior game releases. Very cool. Are any of these cards, is there a rarity scheme going on? I didn't notice anything. It's collectible, but it, there's no rare, common, or uncommon uh, terminology going on. It might be happening. We just don't know. That's what I, Some <laughs> of those games, like, they don't mark it. It's just you just have to know. Yeah. That's how the middle-earth CCG was as well. Tyler Delaney, be wary of treachery, Zach. One. Was it going to let you two. steal my mech? First deployment is here. We'll immediately activate it for another support. Now he's in the box. And I got one deployment left. I think I'm going to have to match by building my own giant mech. Giant mech. This is how war starts, Zach. We're playing right into our own hands here. All right. Um, that'll be my second deployment for the turn. Then we'll do. 
two resources here. We're going to activate it. Cost me two for all quick draw. I have the assembly, so I don't have to pay the extra. And then I'll do three here. That this number is what I need it to be. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Over to you. All right, let's ready. Quick draw comes out. Now we're going. Draw. Now we got to figure out this advanced battle math nonsense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we should just clash them together. <laughs> All right, let's deploy here. It'll immediately come out. We'll get some more logistics. Mm. So now we're at seven resources. Let's deploy here. Razan, yes, this is an old, now dead game from 1996, the Battletech TCG. It's a phenomenal design. Another Richard Garfield game. I'm going to put seven here. <laughs> I've been building to this my whole life. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not going to play a 14 cost guy next. Just okay. saying. That's fine. Uh, then it's it's Mad Cat time. You ever feel that way? I got to do something with this guy. I only have two things that can block him. Unless I go after the deck. That's true. When is my repair reload phase? That is after the untap, I believe. Okay. So it is, I'll give you the actual order since that seems helpful, right? You can only repair once, no matter how many repairy things you've got. Keep that in mind. Okay. That would be busted. All right, we untap, then we draw, then we repair. Um, repair slash reload. So anything that was totally flipped over, it flips up if it used like alpha strike, and then you can repair one for one. All right. Let's do this. That's right. It's not dead. We're playing it. It's no longer being printed, which is a shame. What, what if Catalyst just brought this back? That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so my f can my finish is fast attack any of your mechs? Fenders can attack any of my mechs. That is correct. And only the ones that are fast could block it or be involved in it? Only ones that are fast could basically patrol over to help. Mm -hmm. Think of it that way. Mm -hmm. And if they do help, they tap? If they do help, they tap, yeah. All right, we'll try this. Fenris is going to attack. Uh, quick draw. Oh, really? Fast mech attacking quick draw. You're doing one damage with missile of one. Actually, no. Let's do the urban mech. Sorry. The old trash can? Yep. Okay. Mm. He'll, he'll get that's in not, there. That's wrong. Oh, I, I had a good reason for this. <laughs> that one. All right, quick draw. Being attacked and is being uh, and is involving himself in the By conflict Fenris here. By Fenris C. Ice Ferret. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's good. Let's battle. This uh, initiative is zero plus one for both of our tactics, so we're currently one and one, and I'm the defender, so I would naturally lose if I don't do something. Now, I could jump here to have minus one attack and get initiative. What do I want initiative for? Let's find out. Anything? Nope. I'm good. So I will lose initiative, which means I'm going to go first. Yep. Um, I have two damage to assign. I'm going to assign it both to you. And when do missiles fire? Missiles. I think they fire like as a mission action. Let's find out. I want to roll a three. Look at these little... Uh... Okay. For each missile volley, assign where that missile will go. When damage is resolved, roll a die. So basically, let's use these guys, these black guys. So those, you assign them in the same way you assign damage. I'm going to assign a missile. Resolve. Okay. And I'm going to assign a damage. I'm also going to use my, when I'm assigning damage, I'll use my hover tank mm -hmm. to assign another damage. 
Roll the old die. Get out of here, hover Doom. tank, please. It's a one. It blows up. Yeah. See ya. He did his. He did his work. All right, and then resolving damage to now roll for the missile. Yeah. Missed. Missed. So I have one armor, so I'll cancel one and take one. And I have two armor, so I'll cancel two. All right, and I tap, and you tap. All How right. about that? I'll take that trade every day. Yeah, that was good for you. <laughs> I thought with the missile and the hover, hover tank. Yeah, good, good odds at it. But for sometimes sure. you miss. Yeah, I think you're right, Davey. Um, Battletech is owned by Tops because Tops bought WizKids, right? When WizKids had it, and then I think Tops still has the um, still has the rights, and then uh, Catalyst has some of the rights at this point. They're the ones publishing most of the stuff. Most of the stuff happening right now. Let's go Mad Cat Prime. You attacking my stuff or my? Uh... I don't know yet. <laughs> it's so funny because he can—he's the only thing that can blow up these Your resources. resources. Yeah. That's the whole point, I guess. I just want to win. I just want to win. Well, um, you have more cards in the scrap than I do, so I'm currently winning. I'll start walking your way. I'm just gonna attack your deck with Mad Cat. Yep. Okay, yeah. so I've got a 3-9. You're not even going to touch me, really. And then I've got a 2 damage, which is going to do nothing. Now, any medium or fast mech can join in the fight here. So I can go up to 4 and get 2 damage placed on you. Three, four, five. Um... No. Wait, you got oh you got missile too as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh. He's rolling in hot. He's right. a mad cat. Let's try it. All Let's right. throw fire starter in front of this. So fire starter and banshee are gonna defend my stockpile. And they are terrified. Alright, Mad Cat coming in. Initiative is tied. You have anything that's gonna change that? I no. don't. We each have one. You have I, might, pack, I might jump. Um the thing is it's just not gonna change my Plan. It's not gonna change my plan, so I don't I don't care about it. All right. So then we go to the damage assigned, starting with me. Yep. I've got three to assign. I'm gonna overheat one. So you assign four. And I'm gonna assign four. Yeah. I got you. Thank you. Then I get to assign seven plus my missiles. Missiles go can go to the, go to the primary target. They can. Around. Yep. Assign your missiles. Uh, Fire the missiles. Let's assign. It's so cool, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so cool. I'm gonna assign my missiles there. Send your missiles to the stockpile, okay? And then I've got seven damage. I, I'm. In, it's crazy. Last week was Mythos, and now it's BattleTech, and it's like these are phenomenal, just fun games. And I'm also this really. This feels like Battle Mix. I mean, you fire the missiles at the yeah. stockpile, the, and like the joy in getting just Mad Cat on the table, achieving that like just like feat. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I did something. Um, I also think there's something about getting back to literally. It's what we would do. Is like we would just pick up a new game, read through the rule book, and then like we would just play the two of us for like a couple weeks. You just discover it, and you just yeah, and you're not doing it with like big constructed decks or like that kind of thing. And you don't have the old internet like here's the decks you should start here's with. Here's the good here's cards. The advice. Here's the like, I don't know. They I all have, seem good. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, what are you overheated? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if I do three there. He's gonna go. And the system actually, it just makes so much sense. Right it's clean. like assign the damage, then resolve the damage, and it all happens at once. There's no funny business, there's no interrupt, etc. Or I can do four over on Homeboy. Mm hmm. Oh, I like getting rid of Only things. one gets three, yeah. yeah. I'll put four here. Okay, so then we resolve it? We resolve it. So let's start with your missiles. So you wanna roll uh, hand me another die? 2d6 is, is fine. Yep. I want to give you the choice to ruin your fate. If I do blue, they can actually see it on the stream. The clear <laughs> one is going to be impossible. So a one, two, or three does that much damage to your deck. That's right. Six oh. and a four. <laughs> Double miss, soul. <laughs> All right, yes. then the damage resolves. I have two armor, so I'll cancel two, take two. All right, cancel one, cancel three. So I'll take three and scrap, and then I'll take one to my structure. Now, is armor replenished every attack or for the round? Every attack. Yeah, okay. it's a, like Fee Forge. It's constantly refreshed. The Dragon Tears really seal it too here. 
Isn't that funny? That could have just been six damage or zero. They definitely weren't afraid of that either. They were not. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, Tyler must be a rookie pilot. <laughs> um, okay, I'm good. You're up. All right. Those missions were harmless. I'm not scared. I like that. All right, draw two cards. Oh, here they come now. First action will, uh, or first deployment will deploy a tactics card. What up, Alex? Alexander? Mm. Okay. And then second, for my next trick, what are we going to deploy? Wow, this hoplite's insane. That's such a cool little card. Um, I still need some of these resources to not overpay, which I hate doing. Okay, let's go here. That's my second deployment. Then we'll do, let's see. This game's good. It's so fun. I'm right? having a good time. Um, let's do four here. Mm -hmm. Pull the old Zachary Bun. Not activating. Mm. Yep, almost. And then two here. I'm a terrified of whatever that is. Right? Isn't it weird? Yeah. But honestly. But you know it's happening. At the same time, it's like, it's not busting the game open to have no. that big thing out there. It's just good. Yeah. And he's like, like I had to really look through the math on like if I thought you could get it off the board. And part of why I even say blockers is like, I need to throw people in front of him because mm -hmm. like I have a fast and a medium. Yeah, you you spot on. Because I have to protect that big fifteen cost asset. All right, so now I've got. Uh... Hi, hi, Alexander Shepard. I love when you're so into a game. Did you say the same thing? Absolutely. Ah, I'm going to do that a bunch. No, it's fine. It's, you know that we're like really in when one of us won't see the comments, and then someone else will be talking about that comment, and then we'll come back and answer the same thing. Man. Hmm. The old trash can really needs to go get in there somehow. Attacking together is kind of the only way you start to be able to whittle through some of these armor values, too. Mm -hmm. Um, Attacking as a tempo hit, though. It That's is. That's what I was looking at earlier. Yeah. I'm just kind of wide open at that point. All right, trash can man. Um, cannot block unless guarding. Oh, even better. Okay, so... Who can't do that? He can't block unless he's guarding specifically. Mm. So... Let's see, you can do seven... Dang, you could block. Look at this. Urban Mech's going to block this card. What's that card doing? <laughs> you got to come come find out. <laughs> now, there is something. I think I think there's some mechanism by which you reveal the card. Give me just a second on that, actually. Because that's like one of those weird. I'm just going to take a look at what kind of resources you have here. Just two. If you can believe it. No, you have tactics, logistics, and assembly. Oh, right on. Yeah, I got logistics straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, damage is dealt. Take damage. Structure remains. If a card is spent. damaged in construction, it is revealed. Nice. Oh, like if you ping it. So if you ping it like you did the, the earlier one, it would reveal itself. Which I think that one's already been cast. All right. Now we know. Yes. Doesn't know how fast you should be guarding. Yep. Battle. Now what are you going to do? What are you gonna do? Me? What are you gonna do? Oh, is it? Is it yours? It's still your turn. Oh, I'm done. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was just hanging out. <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean? What am I gonna do?" I'm just patiently waiting. <laughs> All right, let's draw my two. What? Uh, 
Okay, yeah. Every two damage dealt to an under construction card results in a counter being removed. Note that if it's dealt by an unblocked mech, then the card under construction is revealed. Okay. So an unblocked attack, so it wouldn't reveal it even if you hit it with missiles or something. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put two cards down. I'm going to, and actually when I do that, when assembly during my repair reload phase, I'm going to spend a resource to take a damage off Mad Cat. Yeah, that's going to be after all your deployments. Okay, so I put so. two down, I'll repair. I'm going to put six here. That's got seven, so it's going to be at 13. I'll reveal it. It's the Blackhawk Prime Nova. What the heck is this? 13 cost, one armor, seven health, seven damage. You're playing all these stompers. Medium size, overheat, four, attack, plus six. Wow, that's yeah, so awesome. Jump, which is minus one attack, but plus one initiative. Isn't that awesome, too? He's still vulnerable. You do eight damage to that thing, and it's off the table. Yeah. But he could potentially do seven plus six, 13 damage? What the heck? What the? <laughs> all right, um, let's see. I feel like the first thing I'm going to do... <laughs> I agree, Kaya. That's so good. I'm going to send Fenris at... Mm, using your big tactics brain here. At your assembly line. Mm. you got to have some fancy stuff or it's going to do nothing. He's got six and a missile. He's got one attack. Oh, I thought it was six. I know. I'm going to not do that. I do want to get rid of that. You can't missile it, though. Always. <laughs> You want me to just leave it here for your Big Mac to come attack? Well. You can take my assembly out. That's actually hilariously good. <laughs> that is awesome. Once I realized you could just go in and get the resources, it's like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, because then you can take out specific things. Yeah, that, that's why multiples uh, matter. Super cool, yeah. Um, I would have played this so much. I would have lost myself in this game in the 90s. Maybe will in the future. Who knows? Well, I got to say, your army looks a lot more impressive than mine. My one quick draw, and I got a trash can garden. Let's just, let's just create a problem for you. Yeah. It's right. usually a good thing to do. I'm going to attack with these three. What? So At your ten home, total. home base. Home base on yep. the stockpile with three missiles. Mm -hmm. And your slowest mech is a medium, so I can only block with mediums or higher. So quick draw can jump in there. And has to, right? Don't have to do nothing. All right, let's go. All right. Uh, initiative's tied. Initiative is tied. Let's see if anything wants to change there. I have a jump. You have a jump. Jump, jump, jump around. I think that's. I think those things happen after our initial initiative declaration, and then and I might jump, and then it might go back and forth. Yeah. Let me see if this matters. Okay. All right, um, let's then go to initiative. I'm going to lose because we're tied. Yep. So the first thing I'm going to do, I do have one card I can play. I'm going to do it. Let's just see how this resolves. I don't want to read it too much. Sutterfuge. It's an ambush. Activate it when opponent attacks. Deal one damage to each attacking mech for each one construction above the cost of ambush. The construction cost is four. So it's going to do seven damage to each attacking mech. <laughs> oh, man, that's perfect. It all gets assigned, so it, it won't necessarily kill anything, but... So it's seven to everything, right? Seven damage to everything. All yeah. right, so Kashi Prime is definitely gone. Well, it's not yet. It's all just oh, assigned. Oh, it's just assigned. It's just assigned damage. Stuff. Okay, yeah. so we'll just know there's seven there for each of the them. The game is clean. Um, That's an awesome card. Isn't that crazy? I was like, this is the only answer I have to that big thing, but then you played another one. Uh, then I'll assign four more to various things. So if he's taking seven, 
9, 10, 11. I'm just going to put all four here. Just in case. Just in case things get weird, yeah. All right, there's four. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> so I've got 7, 8, 9, 10, and three missiles. Put seven and seven. And you can fire your missiles on my mechs or on my deck. Yeah. I love that you just get to assign them too. Yeah, you don't know what they're going to be. Three. Let's do a missile. Because <laughs> he's got nine health, eight left. So I need to do, I need to bury him. Bury him? You got 10 to assign, however you want. When do I overheat? Uh, at any point, like during the mission phase, I think you it's the okay, same so as I, jump or anything else. And do I assign myself the damage? Yeah, you assign three, and then you get plus three to assign. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, because he's getting buried. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the benefit of initiative, right? You yeah. see where all the damage goes, then you can just overkill things. So that, I have a total of 10 plus uh, three from that. So 13 to assign. 13. Yeah. And you can so, do it like this, too, if oh. you'd rather. I have 13 we to assign, dice. and he's got... 9, 12. Well, if you do 11 12. here, it's there. Yeah. Uh, unless I have a mission card. But I already played a mission card. I believe ambush would count. Yeah. I'm not sure, but. All right, so maybe. I'm going to put 11 there. I'm going to put my three missiles on your deck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. And then I'll assign <laughs> two here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's uh, true. And then resolve. So missiles. And hand me a blue die. Fires and I missiles. Got him. I got him. So I'm going to just go ahead and roll my missiles. Yeah. Give me all threes. A one Ooh. and a two, so three damage three off damage. the top deck. One, two, three. All right, then we resolve damage. So seven there, bunch there, seven there. They're all gone. This guy, two armor soaks the two damage, and then Banshee is gone. Nice. Nice. It feels big and chunky, doesn't it, when, yeah. you're, when you're playing? And then he's tapped, right? It feels like the big... Max, yeah, totally. All right, so I may as well. I mean, now you're just wide open, right? I'm gonna do as long as you don't attack the trash can. One off the top of your deck. One off the top. It's an awesome. What was his name? Oh, awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, end of the round. My Black Hawk Prime uh -huh. Nova is gonna come into play. You back in. Go ahead. Untap everything. Now we know Obsidian English. says, this game is every bit as good as I remember. Machination says, so crazy fun, man. Some cool stuff going on here. I agree with that. This is, I'm telling you, there is a, just a, it's a treasure trove of old game designs back here, and we, they need to be used. Yeah. This is incredible. This is better than most modern games, card games that I have played. The, the one that really struck me was a reskin of, of the classic Netrunner system. Yeah, there's something going on Android in the Netrunner, 90s waters. Right? <sighs> All right, one, two. First, let's play my first <clears throat> munitions resource, my first deployment. You finally did it. Watch yourself now, here it comes. He's munitions. Watch out, Tommy. Wild Galaxy mm -hmm. says, who owns the rights? I, I don't know who owns the rights. The Wizards did the system, but the Battletech IP, I think, is Catalyst. Catalyst or Tops, or maybe WizKids, but you probably just never tops. know. All right, Assembly Munitions, OK. So then let's go here. Oh, I like this little hoplite. That's fun. Let's go. That's my second deployment. So then we'll do one here, and I'll activate. A little hoplite. Look at this little guy. Hoplite. So it costs you three unless you have the resources, which I do. So it costs me one. Alpha strike plus one attack. And it is a one eight with one attack. So it's just like a quick, <laughs> super armored thing. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six over here to the big dad. And I'm going to go to the, we're in the dice phase of the game now. Mm, big Mac. <laughs> and these are all, we can tap all of those. I just don't have politics. That's all I'm missing. And then quick draw, I guess, to maybe do something. OK. And it's nice that you can only play a generally like one mission card unless you get a bunch of jumping, and then yeah. you could do a big assault. That's super cool. All right, so you're a medium over there. Your mechs are not as slow as they should be. 
You're welcome. And if you block me, I just get buried. So, um... Yeah, that would be bad. I'm not going to do anything. And then I'm going to put my hoplite out. And I'm passing it to you. All right, let's ready. Got what? Seven. Draw two. Yeah, exactly, Chris. I would just literally just get eaten by the Blackhawk. All right, I'll deploy two. Flip them out, their resources. Woo! Why don't we just put on the gas? We got nine. I, I don't care if you tap them or not. Okay. It's just more to keep up with. I think it's fair to assume that it won't matter. All right, I'll put two. That's fine, I'll just do it. Put two here uh, to deploy a command operation called Retrieve Lost Mech. It was already played? No, it's for, yeah, it was already here. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just playing it. Put three op operation counters no, on, on Retrieve Lost <laughs> Mech when you activate it. Remove an operation counter at the beginning of your turn. When the last operation counter has been removed, scrap Retrieve Lost Mech and return a mech from your scrap heap to play under your control with damage counters equal to one less than the mech structure. It must go. That must uh, be killed. Let's put that here <laughs> with three on it. And I'll let you have a good time with that. So I've got three turns until it comes out. Yeah, right? until we get back. <laughs> it must be defeated. <laughs> Um, I need missiles. <laughs> let's go for for a grasshopper. Mm, I used to love those grasshoppers. Yeah, yeah, it's a three attack with two armor and eight health, and it has jump. Just generically good. Um, and then we'll put two here and one here. Okay. And then we'll go to the fun times. Medium and slow, eh? Medium and slow, yeah. Fast gets through unhindered, but you don't have one. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Blackhawk Prime. Okay, yeah. He's coming at deck. Yeah. He's yeah, a, yeah, he's a medium. A medium with seven attack. I am Blackhawk Prime. And he has no missiles, right? Not so yet. So if I jump in front of that... Basically, I just avoid a loss of what I assume is 11, no, 13 cards. Wow, you've done it. <laughs> You're doing it, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lost boy now. All right, yeah, Quick Draws unfortunately got to just get dead. He got to go. He'll do one damage, though. That will be worth something, I guess. All right. Initiative's a tie. I'm mm -hmm. going to lose it. Um, I could activate jump here, but then I would do no structure damage, so I'm not going to do that. And we go to the resolution. So I start assigning damage. I have two to assign. I'll assign two to you. I'll assign seven to you. Seven to you. All right. And then resolve. I'll cancel one with armor and take one. Yep. And then... Falcon is just going to attack your deck for mm -hmm. one. And he is a medium, so I can't block it, so you got it. Boom. One S point assembly. scored. And then into round. Grasshopper comes out. Mm -hmm. And you're up. Boy, that's a good mech for four. Yeah. Where did that guy go? Oh, it's because he's slow. He is slow. Yeah, okay. He's my uh, hunchback backup. Once hunchback goes, he's coming in. <laughs> Okay. All right, everything ready? Mm -hmm. mm, yep. This game is fantastic. I'm going to upgrade my rating from excellent to fantastic. It's just, it's just so good, right? Like, if I had, I wish I had like 30 of these random starter decks. Just totally forever. random. It's like yeah. Keyforge, right? Yeah, forever. If you actually brought this back as a unique deck game, Oof. can you imagine? It would be Oof. straight gas. Garfield, are you listening? Okay, assembly and I need politics, dang it. Where are my politicians? I stole them. Hmm. Okay. It would be funny if before the start of that randomly took out all your politics. <laughs> <laughs> you no, just got nothing. dunked on. All right, so I know I'm going to spend three. John DLR says, where's this been my whole life? How did I not know about this game? I totally agree. So we're going to spend three there. I know that's happening because we can't forget that. Do you reveal it? I will activate it, yes. You've got these weird effects. Okay, then let's go here for my first deployment. And here for my second deployment. And then we will go ahead and activate. What do we got? It is a, I'll just 
he's not technically tapped. I'll just get him out of here. I'll actually just put, him, put him back in line. Yeah. Uh, Ryokin A, Stormcrow. Uh, has a 2-7, seven, 7 attack, overheat 2 for plus 2, and 1 missile. All right. Really solid uh, solid build there. And then I've got 4 more resources. Let's throw 1 here and activate him. It's Ooh. a Vindicator. He has jump. He's a 1-6. And then we'll do 3 here. And it'll stay put. And then we go to the missions phase. And <clears throat> we're going to put my trash can on deck patrol, on deck guarding. And then... He was built for it. The hoplite, not really working out here. He's a defender, right? Would they help? I think he might have to go on the deck, too. You can put multiple on the deck? Yeah, you can guard as many with as many as you want. Oof. All right. <laughs> the stockpile must be secured at all costs. And then these guys will come out at the start at the end of the turn, and it's over to you. And you can imagine, too, like if you get into the lore of Battletech, you have a clan that you love, and you run all their mechs. And totally. It's like a Jaguar clan. It's, it's all like animal based, too, as I remember it. The wolf clan. So I'm going to start, by the way, I'm going to have all my resources here. Yeah. And when I spend them, I'm going to put them here tapped. Perfect. So it just cleans up the board. It's just like spoils, is it not? Yeah. So there's nine there. Tactics, munitions, assembly, logistics. And if you ever want to attack these, let me know. Yeah. And in fact, the most relevant thing for you to know is I have one munitions and one assembly. So I'm going to have those ready for, ready for you to appreciate if you want to take out my... Abilities. Yeah, I have only have one munitions and one assembly. The only one munitions. Oh my gosh! Now I've got a mech that could actually get it done, maybe. The old Ryokin. Yeah, Vandervek. Um, there is a Facebook group for BattleTech, I imagine. Yeah. And the Discord. Everyone's got a Discord now too. Start. This removes one. Uh, I'm gonna deploy. Uh, first thing I'll do is spend one to repair one. Technically, that happens at the end after uh, everything has happened. Okay. But you can just save it. I mean, yeah, you can also fine. do it right now because it really doesn't matter. I'm going to deploy. I'm going to play a resource as well. Okay. Then I'm going to spend three on Victor VTR 98. So that cost me three. Mm. Then I'm going to spend two on Zeus. Wow, here's the moment, huh? Zeus EU 95. And then I'm going to spend three. On this card. Oh, the sure. old this card play, huh? <laughs> and I'm going to spend one on uh, Chaparral Missile Tank. It's a command artillery inner sphere. It goes out here. Oh, cool. Uh, which is once per, per use this ability only during battle, I tap it to deal damage to a mech. Yep. And then at the end of all that is when I use the repair. And then in the all that, yeah, now we have the repair reload phase where you can spend one resource to repair a mech. Got it. So good. So mm. good. Kill him. Okay, what do I need to do to that recovery? That's a 2-6. What is? That, that you gotta retrieve hit lost eight. mech thing. He coming. He had it coming. And you overheat 4, so you would give yourself... Four. So we would just basically wreck each other in a very big way. Okay, how am I going to find my way out of this one? <laughs> how fascinating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to go You got to be the commander with Blackhawk Prime and Falcon going at your deck. We got a spammer, is that right? Yeah, I'm going to look for it. I don't see him. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Want to become famous? I do. Do you want to buy followers? Particularly on Instagram. <laughs> 
I always did want to become famous, so I guess. Man, there's a lot of spammers, actually. Does that mean we're famous? I think that's, I think we actually, popular now? that we popular is how enough? we know. The, like, 20 people maybe watching on Twitch? Five? How many are on Twitch right now? Most of them are on uh, YouTube. Oh, Twitch, you got 16. You're, you're, you're going wild. 16 what? Battletech brings out the viewers in Twitch. 16 viewers oh, nice. on Twitch, yeah. All right, so you're attacking me in what way? What fashion? What I'm capacity? attacking your deck with Falcon and Blackhawk Prime. Falcon and Blackhawk Prime against my two slow, big, tough mechs. And you have anti-missile. I'm potentially double jumping. Mm -hmm. They jump us. Jump, jump, <laughs> jump around. My little trash can might take off too, though. You gotta watch out. Wild guy, like we loyal for you. Ten oh. bots. Okay, um, yeah. I'm not gonna add anything because it's all medium, so I could throw the Ryokin in there, but I've gotta leave him in case you wanna get Grasshopper frisky. That's fair. Um, all right, let's do it. All right, uh, you go first, because I won initiative. Yep. Unless, and now I could jump, and then you could jump. But Blue Sapphire says, oh, I didn't even know there was a Twitch stream. That's much better than YouTube. Yeah. We do Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube all at once. Huh. All right, I'm not going to jump. Okay. Let me make sure that I don't have any shenanigans. Okay, no shenanigans. All right, I'll begin by assigning my damage. I've got three damage to assign. Now, what I could also do here is I, this is where I could do the alpha strike. Mm -hmm. It would give me plus one attack. You could still damage him and everything is normal. Um, and I think I'm going to do that. So alpha strike is done. That's what you should do because I'm going to bury him. Yeah, he's going to be buried. I'm just going to leave him up because we don't know the health very well. Yeah, that's good. So I'll flip him upside down for now. That's really what it should have been, right? Yeah, probably. Um, four. Four damage. So I can try to kill a falcon. Or I can stack three on the Blackhawk Prime. Let's apply it all to the Falcon there. Okay. Mine? Yep. I've got seven, eight, uh, and I can overheat for plus six to make it 14. Mm hmm. Which I'll do. So I'm going to overheat for four on Blackhawk. That's the exact number you need. Not exactly. So it's seven, eight plus six is 14. Mm hmm. So I'm going to do nine here, right? Mm hmm. And then I'll do five here. That is exactly what It's I'm exactly doing. what you need. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any uh, mission cards? Nope. Okay. So these guys get wiped. Falcon's gone. And the Falcon's gone. You take three. Cancel one. It's not nothing. Put three on there. And then <clears throat> I will end my turn. So then Zeus and Victor are going to come out. Ugh. I got, never ending. I got it? the tempo. You see what's happening though, like yeah. I, you get the, the the pacing of it all, where like you just have wave after wave of these like uh, max coming out. It's pretty pretty cool. Okay, everything on taps. Draw two. Well, wow, Garlic's saying no option to use my Twitch Prime on TC though. Yeah, I think we have to have a certain number of viewers or something to do it. I don't I don't know how it works. We're not we we uh, just monetizing content in any way is something we don't do because I don't know why. Play only one, okay, under one monument. The closest we have to it is we have a content membership on the website. Um, it's 20 bucks a month, and we're talking about and putting together. We started after we started streaming during isolation. We were doing uh, a whole five days in a row of Arkham up front, and a lot of people, we got a lot of people asking if there's a way for them to support what we were doing. So we set up a content membership. I'll link to it on our website in case anyone is interested, but it's 20 bucks a month. It supports our content. It's what allowed us to make the upgrade to get this overhead camera. Um, and it helps us be able to do this more often and do awesome games like this battle deck game. Hmm. Blocking max remain. Oh, I think I know how this works. Cool. Okay. All right. So first, we're going to deploy here. Also, I don't think I removed one this time. I don't think so, huh? This is your turn. And second, we'll go here. Please appreciate that, Ulair. 
saying, let me say the content membership for these streams is worth it. Subscribe. P really appreciate it. We're working on a lot of stuff for, for that, for those people who've been willing to do that. Ooh, I've got eight. OK, so let's go eight. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go four here and four here. Any of those being flipped? Nope. <whistles> Not a one of them. He's just building. We're just building. Then let's go. Um, Let's go, let's see, seven. I can get to nine, and that would knock out your thing, yeah. So let's go, Ryokin's going to attack your lost mech retrieval thing. He's a medium. He's a medium. I'm, Mediums and fast can block. I have none of those. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Almost like that <sighs> worked. <laughs> <clears throat> it was all a ruse anyway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now you've activated my trap card. Um, Vindicator's going to go on a mission to block my stockpile because, of course, I am. And, Tired uh, of these dang blockers. Pass it over to you. Yeah, I'm wide open now. All right. This you is are. awful. That was when I was playing that, I was like, he either has to really commit and be tapped out on that turn, or I get the big bad back. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's just, it's just going to happen. Well, well. Yeah, Sam, you're right on. I mean, one of the reasons we've kind of, um, we've kind of pulled away from, like you said, Babylon 5 and Vampire, they really excel as multiplayer games. That was really, the CCG space also had that going on. Like, this is a multiplayer game, too. Really? You can play it with any number of players. Christmas. Yeah, and you just go around the table. It's like cool. Like a 2v2 of this, I yeah. can attack the, you know, the people's cool. supports. It's like, let's blow up his logistics. Yeah, it's really, really cool. You won't have it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten resources, you say. Fascinating. Let's put these down. I'm going to pay five and three. Mm -hmm. Eight. These guys are all tapped. And I'll, yeah. Uh, end of that phase, I'll pay one to repair. Mm-hmm. You and got the old as assembly ready. line working. Huh? Yep, working overtime. <laughs> and then let's get to the good stuff. One of the things I really like is the numbers, even when they're big, are like under control. You know, it's like this guy doesn't just come out for 13 and run the table. It's like he's still vulnerable. You got to do eight to him. A absolutely. It's so cool. Um, Yeah, Chris Hodovic, you're right on. I think Arkham Horror LCG is probably a master class in design, yes. Let's wait on that. David, did you did you get the reskin Netrunner? Did you play Android? Android Netrunner? You ready for this bad, bad, bad turn? Yeah. Also, Philip this morning texted me, Philip Burkholder, mm -hmm. um, saying we should play the Tomb Raider. CCG, which he said in my old childhood memory reminds me a lot of Arkham. That makes it, it I've never makes heard sense. of it. I, I mean, there's probably I'll look at it. thousands I'll, that I've never so even seen. Here's the thing. One, depending on how long isolation goes on, we might play every card game ever, ever, made. ever made. Maybe that's what the channel becomes. We're just trying to play every card <laughs> game. And we're going to make an archive Beat of Ultron every game. And yeah. um, uh, but then the other thing is I'm... I'm I really have been enjoying Throwback Thursday, and maybe it's not a weekly kind of affair, but like occasionally having to just revisit. I would like to over the next, let's I say, five like years. I kind like weekly play a random old game. I I like the idea too of getting to the point where we revisit, like we play the games we played, like and not just learning yeah. it, but you, you know, like Miller CCG, Lord of the Rings TCG, Star Wars TCG, Star Wars CCG. I I would play those more. Maybe build some decks. Yeah, like deck building. People would love that. People are asking me, it's like, do you have any advice for? And it's like, I can't tweet this. Like I. I this is yeah. way more than that. Yeah. So, anyways. Ooh, 40K Conquest. I would love to play Conquest, yeah. By the way. Do you have do you have it on the way? That's one of the surprises I had for you, is that I was able to track down about eight decks for that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't wait. That was a great system. That was a great system. That system needs to be used in, it would work in any game. So, what I like That's is so that good. we've done a lot of 90s and 2000s. 
Conquest is 2000 teens. And yeah. so we're going to, at some point, get to the teens games. It's like that. It's Star Wars LCG. It's Star Wars Destiny. Dude, it's... Conquest feels more in the spirit of these old designs than any of them to it's me. It's an Eric Lang special. And maybe it's because the location, the, the early game, which is so strange, and Magic is kind of the only one that doesn't do this, uh, locations and the physicality of where things are on the table is actually mattering in almost all of these games. Like the CCG, you're moving around the planets. The Star Wars TCG, there's the three arenas that matter, where you're going and where you're deploying your units. This, everything on the board is a location you can go attack and visit. Um, the Lord of the Rings, you're traveling to locations in both of those games. It's like, it's interesting that Magic is the one that made it and it didn't have any of that yeah. going on, right? Well, that might be why it made it. Yeah, it's simple, like, right? It's, it's a very, if you look at Magic, the system compared to every other game we've been playing, mm -hmm. it actually is really, there's a, a hit Check this out. They didn't say this in it. Some people marketed this game, it doesn't say it directly, as simpler than Magic. Like it was the alternative if you wanted a simpler game. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's it's on a similar level. I would think so. You ready for this? Yep. Zeus is attacking your deck. Not my deck. Yep. Wow, you can do some damage. Five? All right, well, I have uh, nothing that can block, so it's happening. All right, initiative time. You have what? Vindicator versus Zeus. It's Vindicator a, versus Zeus. A classic match. Who could forget? And uh, I don't have anything that's going to matter here, so nope. You nope. sign your two? I sign my two, right to you. All right, then I'm going to have a mission card. Leap before you look. Play only during <laughs> battle. Choose a mech with jump. Deal four damage to that mech. Huh. Take four. And then you assign your three. And I'll assign my three. That's the seven you need. It is. And I have two armor, so I'll bounce that off, and uh, <laughs> Zeus will just tap. And then it's time to go wild. <laughs> First thing, let's go with Black Hawk Prime. Let's just throw them all in, right? There, I, there could be reasons not to do that. Probably one at a time, like Black, most games. Is Black Hawk Prime smart. is a seven attack going at your deck. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to be done here. I see. Uh, OK. Seven. All right, we'll overheat, overheat for six. Make it 13. Ah! <laughs> this is one of those that kind of collapses at the end, yeah? <laughs> if, you, if, if, like the, if your house collapses. Because you set up that trap where it's like, uh, I got to defeat that thing, but yeah. then I can't block anything. And, and if you hadn't defeated it, it'd be a problem still, because then I would have my other big, big bad back. Still the big. Um, big let's bads. go ahead and Victor. And he's going to attack, and he alpha strike. I'm just going to flip it upside down. Yeah. So he's at five. <laughs> Grasshopper for three. Woo! That was a bad, bad war front. We've got <laughs> six left in the old stockpile. Oh, yeah, and my damage for overheat here is four. We're... Uh, we're getting does blown it, does up. Does armor cancel overheat damage? Yes. Yeah, so it assigns like everything else. Cool. Yeah. Clean. Uh, then I will end the round, and these Ugh. will come out. Gross. Just a pile of mechs. OK. Well, we'll draw two of these sweet cards that I have three turns left playing. Oh, there's some politics. About time you <laughs> they came sure out, you are. politicians. OK. Um. Hmm. 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 Well, that's interesting. I feel like there's in these old CCGs, there would be a card that's like, discard your opponent's deck until they have the same number of cards as you. It's like, yeah. wait a second. <laughs> wow. Great cards. What up, Wayfair saying? Can I ask why they're playing the super old game? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've been streaming for literally this is week nine of five days a week, 1 p.m. Central Time streaming. And Thursdays have become throwback Thursdays. We're playing old games. So we visited a ton of them. We played the Star Wars CCG, Star Wars TCG, Middle Earth CCG, Lord of the Rings TCG, Netrunner. We did an Epic Duels stream. We threw back to that. We did Mythos CCG last week. Um, so we're just kind of making the rounds and playing either games we used to play and love or games we've always wanted to play. 
and using this time to kind of learn and, and look through the history of expandable uh, card games and board games and whatnot. So uh, just having a good time. And Steven's always loved Battletech, so why not revisit the 1990s? It was also designed by Richard Garfield, who designed some of our favorite games, Key Forge, Netrunner, uh, Star Wars TCG, and, of course, Magic the Gathering. Hmm. How many missiles you got at right now? Missile one. Okay. Why? Okay. Just like maybe direct damage to your deck stuff. I I mean, so I'm looking for a super out here, which I might be able to pull off. So we know we've got four. Wait for juice. Star Wars LCD is definitely on the list. So we're gonna do five here. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to be playing a Gladiator Prime. Ooh, wow. The old execution. He's got that beautiful robot face. He's got three armor with 10 health and six damage. If Gladiator Prime attacks and is blocked, it may deal up to two of its damage to the target instead. So it's got those long range. Nice. Uh, weapons there. And then I don't think we're going to get there. We'll do... Our second deployment. You just, you gotta try, right? Second deployment here. Two for it. It's the old hover tank detachment. Oh my. Let's just keep going. Maybe I'll roll just nothing but net over and over and over. Uh, and then we'll put one here. <laughs> oh my, from downtown. All right. The nail in the coffin. All right, then we go to the missions. How do we recover from See this? See a deck. Okay. That's a good question. You're in a very bad spot. Mm. You gonna try to take old boy off the board? I might try to take old boy off the board. Old Blackhawk? Yeah. I might try to take old boy off the board. Why is this guy a medium? He does four. It's ridiculous. <laughs> He's doing seven, he's a medium. That's true. That's why I can't waste it on old boy. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, wow, these are uh, starter decks, but these starter decks were completely random, so you could get any assortment besides the resource cards that everyone gets in the starters. Oh, man. Um, all right. Let's attack your deck. All right. You're good. Any initiative moments? Nope. Okay. Um, you will assign first, given that you are who you are. Nothing. I'll leave one or two to you. Two to me. Okay. I'll assign one missile to you, hope that it hits, and then assign seven. All right. <laughs> hope that missile hits, bro. I'll also play a mission card, inexorable advance. Play one block, choose a mech. If it receives no structure damage, untap it after the mission. Mm, mm. So these guys tap to do their thing. Now let's roll for that missile. Am I gonna kill that blocker? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I take six. Take six. I get to untap. Ah, it would have been so good. Yeah, it was close. Not that it really is going to, you know, change the, the game here, but we've got options. And then... Uh, Broken, I remember Anachronism. I, I bought some of that. I never got to play it. Ryokin A is on one, one mission only. Not lose. Guard the deck, and then I'm going to put one under with logistics. Nice. How many are in that deck over there? Seven. Five. I'm not asking for any reasons. Five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, draw. Nice. That's a cool Look at looking... that lineup. My, my mech army. Oof. All right. They're all real mechs, too. They don't yeah. have the little weenies there. <laughs> They're just coming to party. Let's deploy two. 
I'll pay four to put them all. Ah, I keep the heat coming, huh? I mean, you may as well, right? Yeah. Then I'm going to reveal this card. You ready for this? Oh, the hover tank. That's right. Hold on. I'm going to hover tank that uh, guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, you should. And then see if he goes off the table or not. He does not. Okay. You would have done one more damage. Yeah, exactly. So I, I do the damage, and then I see if he goes away. So that guy's dead now. Yeah. Which is nice. It's a small victory, but a but victory it's, it's nonetheless. It's a victory nonetheless, yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready for this wild card yeah, this... that I'm going to flip over? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. One of his eyeballs is the eyeball card I showed you earlier. It's called Shady Business. Cost five, which I had on it. It says, scrap Shady Business when it is revealed. Hide up to nine counters. So let's No way. Nine. This is great. I love this already. It's like the Psy game. Uh, hide up to hit. nine counters. If opponent guesses how many counters I have hidden, <laughs> scrap that many cards from my stockpile. Oh. So if you get it right, you scrap oh, that many okay. cards. Otherwise, opponent scraps that many cards from his or her stockpile. Oh, it's so good. This is impossible. Scrap a card from your stockpile at the and it comes in a. It says scrap a card from your stockpile at the beginning of each of your turns until the end of the game. So when I play this, I have to oh, lose a card. Oh my every turn. gosh! So it's potentially a nine damage card. If you, but it just punishes you for the rest of the game. Yeah. How many cards are left? Five. I'm not guessing that number. Except maybe you are. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, you could you could go Paul nine here it. because you've got so Paul much stockpile. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hold on, let me let me get the number in my hand. I want. Oh my gosh! Let's do it. Here it is. All right, so I'm gonna roll a die to give myself a starting point. Four is the answer. That's what you're gonna get. Yeah. It was four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, four. <laughs> And I lose a card every round for <laughs> the rest laughing of the game. Now? All I got to do is defend for 25 turns. That's and hilarious. <laughs> All right. First thing, you have what? Uh, he's, he's actually tapped. That was awesome. I've never, uh, that one two zero one two side game in Netrunner, I swear I, I won them 0% of the time, yet somehow 9. I love the options were <laughs> z 1 to 9, you roll the D8. I roll a D12. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so Sal says, got him. Why is that crying, says Josh, because I just got dunked on. I'm going to put it here so I don't forget it. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, man. These guys are going to attack your deck. It's also worth noting, um, so he's guarding this, which means he doesn't have to participate, but he can regardless of his speed. So you can't do the thing where like you send one at him, tap him out, and then kill. Oh, so he you, taps when I attack him. Yeah, but he has to decide, I'm going to go into this combat or not. Yeah, I'm going to throw seven at you. All right, end of the game is on the line here. Or it's uh, ten at you, technically. Oh, this guy's out. This matters. He came out my, in my last turn. He is slow. So make your, make your changes That's accordingly. Fine. Just doing 10. 10. And I can block with Gladiator Prime. To my deck. Mm -hmm. Do you have missiles? No. Nope. It's funny because I wouldn't kill any of them. And you wouldn't technically kill this guy or hurt this guy. Do you have a weird card in your hand? I don't know. I'm going to block with Gladiator Prime. All right. You get the first action. Initiative. Um, I can jump or not, basically. So you currently are going to have the initiative. Um, now, if you jump, you can play two mission cards. Nope. I'm just going to go right into assigning. Do your six. So we got six coming in. Yep. Zeus. All right. Mine? Mm-hmm. I'm going to overheat two. Mm-hmm. Make it a... He's still not going to die somehow. <laughs> four, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to use this action to deal damage there. My shrapnel tank, or shap, and it's right to structure, tank. right? Yeah. Structure taken, and then ten is assigned. Yep. 
Okay, 10 is assigned. Anything fancy mission cards? It's 12, sorry. 12 is assigned. So that would be 13. That would that would kill him. Yeah, that's Very it. nice. Yep, I'm in. Uh, then I'll cancel two here and take six. You got it. And they will tap. And then, for my next trick, um, Blackhawk, attacking your deck. Get out of here. What's he got? Does he have missiles or anything? No. Nope. But this guy does. Sure enough. I'm okay. going for downtown. You could, yeah, could potentially do that, couldn't you? <laughs> um, you can't let me send the attack through, though. That's not how that works. Yeah, it's impossible, right? So, yeah, got the old pincer. Um, all right. Uh, yep, got to gotta block that one. All right. So can I overheat? I, I just assign the tokens, and it Yeah, works. it all happens during the assign step. All so right. you win the initiative, which means I have to go first. Now I could try to do something weird there. I'm not going to. Um, so I'm going to assign 7 to you here. All right. And I will overheat and assign 13 to you. Mm-hmm. Whoosh. What a battle. Then Dervish is coming <laughs> in for one with a missile one. <laughs> this missile... Oh, and he can overheat for a plus one attack. So we're going to do two damage. And then if you hit the three on the missile, it's going to be it. He's overheated, and we missile. Overheat a... technically is just the, just the top. The uh, alpha strike is the one that does the big. Oh, OK. So, so overheat just means you take two damage. If you have to draw and you can't draw cards, what I happens? think you lose, okay. yeah, if I know games. All right, here we go. Give me a three. A two. Mm, two damage. Nice. So four off the top. Four? Yeah, two for your attack, and then uh, two for yeah. the missile, yeah. We and, got it that's done. It. I think I draw and lose, honestly. Wee! Nice. That's good, Battle man. Tech. Battle tech. This in. is great. Uh, that's also cool. Mike Cook saying, uh, "Speak of the devil." Just got an opt-in email for Artifact 2.0, nice. so they took it back under the hood, and, and they're apparently they're redoing things. it. Guys, this game is awesome. Yeah, this this was uh, this game's really cool. How, how like great I said, is it you can just pick it up and like, you know, it's how quick? We we understood it in 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, it was it was very quick. And I think the the only shame is that the product is so hard to find. Mm -hmm. So like like I said, these random starters are actually so cool because like it, it's just like Keyforge, honestly. If I could just pick up a deck. Just buy 25, 30 random starters. It's and like go. who knows which mech I'm gonna get and who knows what like crazy like a shady business card I had is just wild. And honestly, if you bought like twenty of those decks, we could probably just build from that card pool and have two probably fully yeah. constructed decks. Because you can imagine, okay, what if my deck just plays nothing but logistics resources and all mechs that don't get penalized unless you have the logistics resource yeah. or whatever? And like, what does that look like? So what are logistics needing mechs? So now maybe it's all about um, long range attacks and jumping. And then maybe I had a assembly line deck where I just pumped out nothing but cheap mechs with assembly. It's just like. Well, because if you had enough mechs popping out, it would be hard to do damage. Very difficult. Because one yep. little mech with one health can soak in a whole attack yep. on a, a base. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. How would you feel about taking a quick five and Let's then coming back five. and playing round two before we get out of Grab here? Grab a brewski, yeah. play yep. a second round. It's brew 30. Stick with the same decks just because we kind of learned them, I guess? Sure. Or do you, well, we can I'm, switch I'm happy either way. I'll I like my deck. I feel like you having a... Had another a, ambush. I have two in this deck, so beware. That's a saucy combination. <laughs> saucy card. Um, <laughs> I feel like if you... I would like to see a game where you have your deck where you're not behind Get the resources. Get some resources so up front. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, we'll uh, take a quick break, and we'll be right back playing one more round of Battletech. Stick with us. And now you can say... Yeah, I was going to say, you always do that, and then it leaves me in a weird spot where I'm not sure what to say. Thanks for being here. We love having you interacting with us on the chat and uh, helping us out with all the rules. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
welcome back. We're going to be playing another game of the Battletech TCG from Wizards of the Coast 1996. We just played our first game, and we're going to use the same decks. We have two starters, and these starters were built where they're randomized, uh, like a classic collectible game starter, <laughs> minus the resources. So we're just going to shuffle up and play. Uh, if you have any questions about what we're doing, feel free to ask. We're not going to probably explain it as in-depth. We're walking through the rules step-by-step in that first game. It's so good, guys. This, this game is a... This game is a, a master class in what was happening in the 90s with collectible card games and also what isn't happening as much these days, I would say. And it's like, it's innovation, but it's not like, it's not derivative. It doesn't feel like it's, oh, we're just like adding new things just because like maybe they'll be different. It, it's all evolution as well as just like sideways movement across different aspects of what a game could do. It's like, oh, what if you could attack everything on the board rather That's than just your opponent's life total? Even the resources, which is crazy. Yeah. Once we land that. Hey, Michael Waldo, welcome. He says, oh man, finally caught up watching your Ultron win from Monday. Wish I'd <laughs> seen it live, the absolute Joy at the end gave me goosebumps. So <laughs> awesome. Congrats again, Claw Heroic 3. It was so awesome, yeah. Really I am great interested time. in Claw Heroic 3 at some point. The first thing we're going to do is try to collect the Infinity Gauntlet, which is beating every villain in the game on Her uh, Heroic, I think. Ravage saying on Twitch that uh, Harry Potter card game is nicely uh, advertised as simple magic. Okay. Which I is fair. I can get into that. It makes sense, too, because yeah. Harry Potter is obviously... The initial book, it starts when he's like 9 or 10. He's a kid. It's small. It's very, and like, the books grow up with him. The so magic's a little Kind of like having a young magic makes sense. Like a D&D &D magic. Especially because back then, your target audience for a Harry Potter product would have had to have been like 10 to 13. We've got a little half pints or uh, maybe three quarters pints if you're Zach there on the tulip. So cheers. Three quarters pints. To everybody that uh, wants to points? join us. Yeah, cheers. And cheers to everyone. Seriously, this whole time, this is week number nine. So we're, we're almost 45 streams in, by the way. I was doing the math It's become on a it. lifestyle now. It definitely is a lifestyle. So I was doing the math uh, when I was talking to my wife the other day. And it's nine weeks. Even if you say it's five hours, even though a lot of our streams were more than that. Yeah. Um, Keeps happening. Is uh, like 250 hours worth of streaming. And so mm -hmm. we were previously doing two or three hours every Monday. So we've done more That's awesome. than a year's worth of streams in this nine-week period. That's is, really awesome. Which is crazy. And, and it's it's worth it. It's worth it to be with all of you. It's been awesome. The are interactions we, we've been getting have been Are great. we PewDiePie yet? Are we influencers? I think that's how that works, yeah. Are the, is so YouTube giving us millions of dollars? We draw five, and we made a little house rule before we started. Can we say weird things? If you don't have any resources in your opening hand, you get a mulligan. I do. I do, too. Good ones. All right. We're off to the races. Hmm. You want me to go first this time? Yeah, sure. So I only get one card? One card and then one deployment. All right. right. I'm going to deploy this card, and it gets to flip over because it is a support tactics. One tactics resource in play. Yeah, Tyler, we're, we got pretty lucky on that. The timing of everything, uh, basically, Zach and I had been unknowingly in, in isolation together before we even knew that we were supposed to be in isolation. Uh, and so by that time, it was like, well, we've been here every day. So if, if we've got it, you've got it and I've got it. Yep. <laughs> yep, indeed. And that's Seems like, like we didn't have it, so that's good. We immediately switched to, like, everyone else was working from home. And, like, right now, Bryce is I been living the, the dream. I have been He's popping the cards up. So, like, when I say support tactics, that'll probably pop up on the screen. He's doing that from home, remote. Some in. version of it will be on the screen. Yeah, it all different has different art, art yeah, which, which is, is awesome. Cool. All right, so you've deployed your one card. You yep. drew your one card. So it goes over to me. I draw two cards. Get ready. I'm going to play first deployment is... Oh, can we get the above camera? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We got you, John. Thank you. Thanks for letting us know. Barry is saying, hey, fellas, greetings from the UK. Thanks for these retrospectives. Battletech is awesome. Any chance of an OG Legend of the Five Rings or OG Doomtown game? I'd like to play OG Legend of the Five Rings, actually. To have I would like just to see like, the OG Doomtown, the, the pre-reloaded -re version. Yeah. Definitely a chance. Uh, it depends on how long isolation goes on. And we've had a lot of support through our content memberships. So we're looking at ways of even, even, even when this thing, this thing by this thing, I mean life, goes back <laughs> to a little more like normal, uh, hoping to stream a little bit more. So we're uh, potentially going to go on a worldwide tour of all the games. Okay, how about this tasty number here? 
Hit me with it. Mm, this is a good opening. I, yeah, I've got a busted opening now. So first thing I'll do is I'll play uh, a support logistics. Okay. Second deployment, I'll deploy a Hussar face up. And it says I can deploy it revealed to make an additional deployment this turn. Ooh, super saucy. So then I'll deploy this guy. An A and M. This guy. And then I'll put one resource on that guy. That's a good question, David. It says, when will you guys decide to unisolate? Uh, for me, it's it's number one priority from the whole time has just been the safety of, of our staff and our community. So once we're 100% confident that's the case uh, is when we would look at going back to normal, reopening the store, and opening the office and whatnot. All right, that does seem like a good little opening. All right, my star in, your turn. Draw back to two. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you got good at this too, the turns would be like, nothing would ever get super big because you'd always be like whittling each other down. I'm with it. Let's do this thing. I'm going to deploy two cards. I'm going to put a, oh, that's not even, I can't do that. <laughs> Try to deploy missions already. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, we'll deploy two cards and then I'll put a resource on that. Oh, I got a free crack. All right, untap everything, draw two. The problem now is I want more of these cards, but they're impossible to find. OK, first action is deploy here. Second action, deploy tactics. We might look into that, Fergus. He says, you should join the Twitch affiliate program. I believe you meet the requirements and people can give you their free monthly Twitch this. Prime subscription they get from having an Amazon account. OK. Gustav we'll says, replying to Covenant, the card capture and pop-up for the stream is fantastic. Huge shout out to John for designing it and Bryce for sitting here for five or six hours a day at home, uh, popping these cards in. Uh, massively uh, awesome to, to have that happening. OK, so deploy here, deployed here, activated the assassin. Cost me one extra because I don't have the M resource or munitions. I don't have the uh, A resource. So I don't have assembly. So he's a little bit extra. And then we go to the missions phase where my Hussar can come in and do some serious damage to you. Um, hit that. Here. It's gone. All right. There goes Falcon. <laughs> Mine. They're early game in insanity. It's so good. Yes, go ahead. I love plays like that so much. That early aggro. All right. It's First thing, excited. we're going to deploy an assembly resource. And then I'm going to put a resource on this. He's attacking my peons. And we'll flip. <laughs> spider. Ooh, the spider. Nice. And then I will... I'm going to come get you. <laughs> uh, do this, and we'll put a resource on it. End of round, spider's coming out. Hmm. Oh, yeah, he would technically be tapped. All right, everything untaps. Oh, and this guy would be out, too. I'm missing my frameworks. Oh, I can deploy him revealed to make an additional drop. Additional which I, deployment? I won't, I won't yeah. do. Cool. OK. Uh, ooh, look at that assassin. Look at that assassin art. That guy looks awesome. Look at that. He is awesome. He's got a medium laser, five LRMs, and two SRMs. Five long-range missiles and two short-range missiles. I don't see that on his card. It's right there. <laughs> One. <laughs> All right, draw two. Oh, watch out, Zach. This is my, this is my game now. All right, first action, let's deploy here. First deployment. Woo, you got that curve going. Second uh, deployment, before we do that, let's go ahead and add one here. We're going to activate Theodore Carita. <clears throat> Comes in immediately, can tap to give me an additional deployment for the rest of the game. Also access tactics in case you blow up my tactics uh, resources. Well, it says, if you have tactics in play, adds one to your initiative. 
So he has an extra tier initiative. Well, he has, so that's like the, it's all the same text on this card as well. It's just explaining what tactics in bold means. Oh, got it. So if you blow this up, I still have one tactics. Mm. He's he's a general. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Because this, uh, they say the same thing. If you have tactics in play, add plus one to your initiative. If you have tactics in play, add plus one to your initiative. So he has the same ability that the support tactics resource has. Yeah. To me, it feels like he would give you plus one initiative. Nope. They never stack. Huh. Never in the game. Tactics is tactics. You either have it or you don't. Then I'm going to tap him to get two more deployments. And we're going to throw munitions into the mix. Mm, making money moves. And then third is going to be... Third deployment there. And then we'll throw three here. I feel like I'm building mechs. This is the greatest feeling ever. <clears throat> All right, now. You could actually, yeah, you could destroy my Hussar there. You're also fast, you little Spider Man. Huh. I love the art on Spider. The planets in the background, the way it's painted, looks great. Ah, uh, huh. Read in the middle. Let's go. Oh, man, this is cool. These are not easy choices, man. Let's go. Who's sorry for an assassin? Let's attack your deck. Do I get a mission phase even though I don't block? You know, probably. Let, let's look. I like that. I, I like that idea. Uh, they're only played when you are assigning your damage. So if you're not assigning uh, damage, yeah, I bet you nothing. can't play them. I have Broken Clay, that's awesome. I have four decks of dubious quality <laughs> that I can send you guys if you want them. Uh, I'm not going to block. All right, take one. Oh, there goes uh, my politics. Yes. I got your politician. So technically, if you didn't block this one, you wouldn't block this one either. That would not seem good. So uh, let's attack your deck again. I'm blocking. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I will have initiative unless you do anything differently. You, so it starts with you. You assign your damage. You have initiative. I'm going to play a mission card. Play on. Play only during battle. Choose a mech with jump. Deal four damage to that mech. Oh, my, my. <laughs> All right, so I take four. Yay. And then you assign me one. And then I assign one to you. Do it. And I'm gone. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, back to you. Stand and deliver. Mm. Mm-hmm. Deploy, deploy another assembly. Nice. Making money moves. It's funny because we get to, we play the small ones up front and it eventually builds to those bigger mechs as we go along. Yeah. We're seeing the flow of it. Uh, let's go ahead and spend three on this guy. Mm -hmm. We'll flip. It's Puma. <laughs> Not Puma, the Puma A. Adder. Oh, that thing looks awesome. He's got missile three. Oh my gosh. One attack, five health, Speed one armor. Speed and long range weapons make this a potent mech. He's ready. End of, uh, you know what? No, I'll keep him. I'm going to oh, keep him blocked. Yeah, keep him blocked. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're up. Okay, go okay. ahead. Puma coming out. He's ready to missile some up. I love missiles. Davey says, stand to deliver. Great. Now I've got Adam Ant on my mind. <laughs> All right. Draw two. Okay. I went first, and yet somehow you have more resources. What's the deal with that? I had an accelerator turn with uh, a Hussar and Kurita. It's funny. You just can't play him if you have him in your deck. It's just like, I love it. He's unique. No, I've got him. You, you need New York. You I, can, I mean, I can, I can blow him up first. You got to blow him up first. That's right. 
He can do one damage back to you if you try to blow him up. That's something. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I punch your mech. Okay, so what you're saying is we definitely need to do that. So first action on the deployment, we're going to deploy another logistics. Mm. We're going to spend one here, activate this guy. I don't have an assembly, so i got to spend two to do that. Cyclops. I like Bummer. the name of that. Yeah. You know why they're called Cyclops? Probably because he has a big laser in like in the front of his head or something. That would be, that would be, make sense. Popular as a command vehicle, the Cyclops is rare elsewhere. Just keep that in mind. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Noted. Let me put, write that in my book. <laughs> got it. Uh, let's see. Assembly ammunition. Second action, I'll deploy here. Third action, I'll tap to get an additional deployment for my third there. Mm, he's so good. It's a constructed deck. And then we'll go to here. Thomas, that's awesome. He says, got my Arkham tokens. Love to know what you think. I think you're going to dig them. Two on this guy. It's going to activate him. Not my trap card. It's a hoplite. It cost me one extra because I don't have the assembly I still. I that thing. And then one on this face down. Then we can go do some missions if the Zusar wants to die. I don't want to die. Uh, nope. I'm going to stay put. I'm going to stand in front of the way of whatever comes my way. Mine's These guys come out. All you. Two slow boys. He's got the beats. Yeah, Ravage, you're completely right. Mount a medium-sized laser in the head of a mech. Wasn't that so cool when you built your mechs? You, you literally, Zach, I can't explain to you, you had a diagram of a mech. And then you would mark in the boxes where everything was. You, I, I want to put a laser on his right arm. And then your opponents could damage your arms, your legs, your torso, and then it would disable your weapons. It's like, ah. I mean, it's cool. Super customizable. Think about deck building, how much time you spend. Imagine where you would build every one of your mechs and then play them and then like revise them. I get it. <laughs> I'm there. Uh, let's play ammunitions and then let's play something else. Yeah, handling heat now, exactly, Michael. It was like heat sinks. It's like, well, I could push that hard. What, what's it matter? And then you build those mechs, they just shoot everything at once and then die. Play here. Put four on it. Oh, so this is my moment. You're not gonna drop a mech on me, so that means I've got I've got a chance here. Hmm. This odd-looking mech is found exclusively among the dragoons. Dragoon! <laughs> I'll pass. Okay. You got missiles. I got missiles. I don't have missiles. I haven't seen a missile in this deck at all. I think I had one last game. Okay. Oh my. Oh my my. Oh yeah. Okay, first deployment. Tactics. <whistles> Second deployment here. Sure. Third deployment here. My goodness. Okay. Then we've got six. You really played out that hand, didn't you? <laughs> We're going to spend three here to build this guy. The old Grand Dragon. <whistles> New technology greatly improved the Draconis Combine's favorite heavy mech. Cool. Then we got three more to assign. Let's put two here and one here. And then we've got some hopping to do. Spider dude. Do to do. Do to do. I believe. I believe I can soar. Ooh. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got Jordan on it. I saw that movie so much. All right. Well, how about this? I'm ready. Mm. 
This tasty number. All right, Cyclops and the Hussar are going to attack your construction card. This? That. If I block here, you have to assign all damage to it, eh? That's correct. Unless you have something fancy. Unless I have something fancy. This one card in my hand that I held for fancy times. I'd like to know, guys, is the battle tech that I remember with the sheets and the hexes and the build your mech, is that still is that still getting printed? Did Catalyst like keep doing that? Or did it get kind of how shall I say modernized? It's kind of a dirty word these days after all these streams. Let's go both. Oh really? Yep. Tap to defend, if you would please. Might matter. All right, so now we go to the initiative. Uh, I have tactics. Do you have tactics? I do. You do. So everybody's at plus one. So I'm currently winning that. Uh, so I'm going to get initiative, which means you're going to have to go first. All right, you ready? Now, if you jump as your first thing, then it switches back to me. And then I have to decide where I'm, I'm assigning stuff. I'm not going to do that. Let's assign one damage here. Put it here. Imagine that. Let's put one damage here. And I'll put all three misses on this guy. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. OK, so I got four, five. He might go Oh, anywhere. wait, I have a mission card. Yep, yep, yep. Got to play it put now. a feint there. Choose one of your max. Uh -huh. Roll a die. One, nice. no effect. Two to six, put all damage dealt and received by the Good feint, bro. Do I roll now or after you assign? Uh, choose one of your max. Roll a die. You would roll now. That's the beauty of initiative. Unless, all right, now I have to jump. I'm going to jump. Oh, there we go. I now we got somewhere. Sense. Yeah, because then you can faint correctly. So, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll jump before I do anything. OK. What was this for? That was yeah, there forever, yeah. OK, so now I don't know what's going to happen. So my turn looks like four or five. I can go to six. Actually, it probably looks like either clear that mech or don't. And in fact, it looks like this. And you'll think that I'm metagaming you, but I promise you that I'm not. Um, let's go four here and one there. Ah, uh, you may as well do five there. And one? Just five. Okay. Because the one armor would soak it. Yeah. So All right. then you assign you. Um, you know how to play the card. But I will do this. One, one, three missiles. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play a. Oh, wait, hold on. I actually do have to play this now. Initiative's important. It's very important. What are you doing? All right, I'm going to do it. This is my plan going in. Play only when blocked. If this mech doesn't take structure damage, it untaps. Are you blocking? Oh, you're getting blocked. When you block. block, yeah, yeah. So basically, if you don't okay, get yeah, through yeah, its yeah. structure, I get to untap. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll change. Because that's way better when you have initiative, right? Mm -hmm. I can do that. It's like, oh, he didn't assign damage. I can play it now. That's so good. All right. Let's see what you guys told me. Yes, says Phyllis Master. OK, that's good. That's the facet tabletop ravage. Last I checked, but I have not kept up with anything newer from the Catalyst group. So that's a different game entirely. Let's do this. Totally revive with new sculpts? OK, so yeah, you're going to blow him out of the water. Yeah, and then I'll play. I don't care about him. You don't care about the spider? You don't want to save your spider with a feint? All right, let's go. OK, um, roll, your, roll your three dice. Show me the missiles. Give me the missiles. Six, six, five. Ooh, six damage. Ooh, because I got the munitions out. All right, so I will die. He's buried, says my spider. Thanks and for I, playing. Eye for an eye. Very Old Testament battle tech here. <laughs> and then Hoplite's going to... A little gonna, bi biblical joke. Yeah, not ready. Right. Hoplite, no, maybe, yeah. Just a f hanging out on the base. You know what? We're, let's make this annoying for you. We're going to attack that construction card. Don't you have to do two? Oh, you can alpha strike? Alpha strike. OK. Mine? Yours. What's that? 
That's the, what the Alpha Strike technically does. It depletes them. So then next turn I'll flip, and then next turn I'll untap. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to play another assembly. I'm going to play a politics. Ooh, money. But what is he spending it on? I'm going to put six on this. Oof. Was it just one away from being completed? Tell me it was. This? Yeah. Tell me when you're moving one I mean, is the critical piece of this game. Let me do the math. Oh, this guy comes out too. Easy to forget. Don't forget the Grand Dragon. I mean, it's, out. It's, it's not fun. You know what like I mean? Like in this situation, my entire turn is probably just try to knock counters off of that. Yes, indeed. But you also have tons of resources, so it's a losing battle. I yeah. should take advantage now while I can do some damage. All right, back to me. I'm thinking about it. Mm. Yeah, back to you. Got a thinking. Okay, so start out with everything untaps, and then the reload repair phase is when this thing happens. So that might matter. I don't know that it will. Everything untaps, munitions, logistics, and tactics. Also, how hilarious is anything that flips a card down? Because it, like normally people have sleeves too, and it's just like yeah, what is this card? I think it's just it should just be upside down. It should have been. Yeah, it probably should if be. If they done it, probably should be. Where's my assembly already? Well, now you're running on low cards. You you went all out on this round. Yeah, yeah I went the early aggro route. Okay. Let's go here for my first deployment. Hmm. <laughs> Six resources. First deployment there. Um, let's spend four on it. We'll activate it. It's a Banshee coming in. Good question, Nathan. Uh, he's asking, of all the Throwback Thursdays so far, what has been our favorite game? I don't know if I can answer that. I'm going to have to think about that for a minute. Yeah, 100%. All right, all resources are spent. Um, then we go to the reload. So he comes in tapped. Mm -hmm. And then we go to the Pokin phase. <clears throat> How about that Puma? How about that Missile 3? What the heck, man? <laughs> what the heck is that? Sun's out, gun's out, man. Sun is not out, side note. Yeah, guns are also not out. In case you didn't know. Um, so, try to prevent the big thing. I could actively just go after the Puma, because mm -hmm. I've got a medium and a fast, so I could just try to get it off the table. Build an advantage, you know? I'm going to do that. They're going to go on a mission to attack the Puma. Let's dance. You can either block it or you can just take the damage and not tap. I'm it's up block. to you. Okay. Because I untap and start this thing. That's right. If As if you'll be there. Then we go to the uh, initiative phase. Um, and I'm currently uh, going to be the winner of that unless you're going to do something about it, which you're not. So go ahead and over to you. What up, man? Andrew Navarro says, I came in late to the stream. Don't know what's going on. What is up, Andrew? How are you? This is Battletech, the CCG. Hey, pay attention to you, Andrew, because this is incredible. I'm you guys give me didn't a 10 second re re how this works. If you guys didn't know, Andrew is the former head of studio for Fantasy Flight Games. I don't know if he even wants to be known by that title anymore, but it's here. Formerly known as. And we're talking about The it. artist. Yeah, Andrew, also a, a good friend of ours, uh, just from continued contact, and also he happens to be a really awesome guy. So good on that. Um, maybe you're the one to do it, Andrew. Do you want to take this? Can you get the license to this system and make something like this again? Because this game is like has me struck. It gives me the early Netrunner vibes of like if somebody would just come through here and just do this a little bit cleaner, it could totally kill it. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Glad to see you. Don't want to put you on the spot there. Um, attacking the Puma, you have to declare uh, damage and mission cards first. Where's your one damage going? <laughs> of course it is. Poor Usar. Three missiles here. <laughs> Where are you assigning your stuff? All Andrew, right. Basically, of the game, we're trying to deck each other. Uh, we have mechs, like all, the Puma. You'll see the stats are the little circle in the top left is the cost that threw the circle on it. The other stuff uh, we'll explain later. Uh, the one is the armor, kind of like in Keyforge. The five is the health. The armor comes back every attack. Bottom right is the attack value. Uh, and you can literally attack anything on the board. Cards that we're building, these are all resources that are uh, uh, 
placed on it. You have to be able to pay for it, obviously. These are our resource cards in the middle, and they generate one resource around, and then these are our active mechs like our creatures. Mm -hmm. Andrew, great answer here. I've thought about doing a mech game, and I do know the founder of FASA, but I think the license is pretty tied up. Yeah, the Wikipedia page is like a maze of licensing. Um, okay, I'm going to overheat for two, uh -huh. and then I'm going to assign four here and one here. Five. Five. Just five. No big deal. Oh, wait. When I'm assigning, yep. I was going to play faint because you only have one place to put it. Absolutely. It's a good, that's a good play. All okay, right. now. And let's, I have to roll the die. Let's go. Roll the die. So yeah. a one, nothing happens. Otherwise, I cancel all damage dealt and receive by. Oh, dealt. No faint here. I want to do the damage. Right, right, right. Got I actually it. did that earlier as well, and I actually didn't read that. Um, <laughs> That's true. Let's you go. You one, so it was... Show me the missiles. The missiles. Uh, the way missiles work, for anyone that it doesn't know, I roll dice. For, if a one or a two hits, it does that much damage, otherwise nothing. Because I have... You have munitions out. Munitions out. It's actually all my threes also hit, so we'll see. I rolled Ooh, two, two, and one. Damage. It hits for five damage on my three missile tokens ah. here. Oh, wait. It's going to be seven total. Seven total. Okay. okay. One so shot. That won't take it. So I'll take Just seven. Five. So five go into the structure. The Hussar, of course, gets knocked off the table. And it looks like Zach four are going to go to your structure. On that guy. Yeah. And you had five here, right? Yeah, I had five so minus one, so four go in. All right, he's alive. And then into my turn, the Banshee comes in. Yeah! All right, my resource is ready. Drawn two. Mm-hmm. You're about to put Big Dad on the table, too, aren't you? Mm-mm. -mm. <laughs> what? Why would you suspect that? Uh, let's deploy here. Let's deploy my resource. So you get to deploy two cards a turn. So I played a resource and a card face down here. And then you can spend your resources to build them. I have seven. <laughs> There's a lot of dots over there, let's go. buddy. Six here for old Mad Cat Prime. Uh, who could forget Mad Cat? And then I'll use my last resource to put one here. Uh, which I'll flip, and I have the matching resource. It's the Chaparral missile tank. It's the one that can do one damage a round. Oh man, that's a. Is this a constructed deck? I think I built it. Yeah. What the heck. Notice I said I think I built it. <laughs> uh, and then, let me see if I want to attack anything. The missiles are good. <laughs> You're completely right. They are good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're very good. They can always hit their target. I mean, it's so cool. It's, I guess that's the power of missiles. I'll, I'll leave him. He's a good defender. End of the round. Anything I have built can come out, so it's going to happen. This actually comes out earlier. Uh, and I guess I should have used one resource to, to heal, bluff. My, heal my Puma. I do that uh, there you go. Deploy. You got the assembly thing that can repair. Yeah. yeah. Right All right. Uh, your turn. So uh, every resource, by the way, has a special ability, or most of them do. Like support assembly, uh, you can spend a resource during the repair reload phase to heal a damage. Munitions was the thing that got me the... Speak uh, of the devil. Here's a support assembly resource. See you, Davey. Second deployment here. And then I'll activate a fire starter. It cost me zero because I have both of the matching resources. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got seven to spend. I'll spend... One, two, three, four, here, and three here. You're not the only one who can put dots on uh, cards over here. And then, uh, you know what? Let's do one less, and then let's uh, heal this guy one. All right. So he's like got that. two left and two armor. OK, now we can do some attackies, or we, we do some missions here. So. Um, this Banshee is an unpopular mech because it lacks adequate firepower for an assault mech, just in case you didn't know. It's unpopular. Nobody likes it. That's why it's in your deck. That's, that's right. I love unpopular things. Hoplite's going to go on a mission to guard the stockpile for sure. 
Banshee's got a big two attack. That's one away from killing you. Your little mech guy there. Now this guy could just block, and that's a disaster. <laughs> right, I mean, like, what is that guy doing? Yeah, if he blocks, he's just a monster. This is a great blocker now, because it's like, assign all the damage, I don't care. Yeah. I'll do three to you. I believe we're in a bit of a stalemate here. A little Cold War going on? All right, I'm gonna hold. Pass it over. All right, first thing. Normally, we'll I do, you do tap your resources. We're just not doing it, because it's just easier to not. If it would ever matter, just let me know. All right, mine. Dude, that would be cool. A Game of Thrones style show in the Battletech universe, like a, like a fantasy drama Battletech. I'd also love to see any IP in this game system. Game of Thrones would kill here. L5R would kill here. Star Wars would kill here. Can you imagine a Star Wars game like this? Oh, yeah. Only like Maybe it's only like uh, Clone Wars era or something. <laughs> or maybe it's only prequels, so you're building droids and Jedi. It could be only whatever. Whatever you want it to be, right? It could be. You could base it in the sequels. I guess. All right. Oh. Nice, Steven. That's, that's, that's helpful. The Banshee traded speed for weaponry, if memory serves. Oh, this guy's out, too. The go one here. In case you didn't know, the Firestarter, uh, it's an unusual mech designed to set fires around its opponents. I like it. I like yeah. the art, too. We have contract with Grey Legion, Grey Death Legion. I've been wondering if this would come out. Yeah. I've never read it, but it had a lot of text on it. So you can, I can tap it. One of my mechs gets plus three attack and plus two armor. I use this ability only during a mission. If that mech receives five or more damage, scrap contract with Grey Legion. During the repair reload phase, pay one plus two if I don't have um, politics politics out, which I do, or tap contract with Grey Death Legion and choose an opponent. That opponent gains control of contract with Death Legion. Oh, so you got to pay to basically keep it under your control or it comes to me. Yeah. Absolutely. That makes a lot of sense. So it's going to cost you one to keep it on the board forever. Or it'll just bounce between us because I don't know if I want to. I don't even have politics. So it's a really good time for you to bounce it to me. Which is, uh, yeah. I'm not going to pay three. Um, and then I'll pay. Ooh, Dune using this mechanic. Yes. Almost done with the book. If you can believe it. And then I'll put mm -hmm. six on this. Mm, okay. The old build for the future idea here. And then for my next trick. Oh, you have to do that now. Because it's deploy, and then it's your repair reload phase. And it says during your repair reload phase, pay one. So you can save a resource mm. and do that. All right, I'll pay one. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, you, you got to like deal with them. Uh, we hired them, and they are kind of looking. That's a Mad Cat, Bjorn. It's a Mad Cat right here, Mad Cat Prime. Cost 15, and he did it. He's a monster. Let's. Timberwolf. Wolf. Think about my life. Machination, I, I definitely agree. I there's gonna be somebody capitalizing on the Dune Renaissance with the movie coming out. Apparently the game was good. Box art was good. I know that. Makes a lot more sense when you've read the books too. Alright, Mad Cat coming in at your assembly resource. No, you didn't. Yep. You're gonna missile it too, are you? Uh, I'm coming. There's no way you're gonna. There, nothing's gonna be done here. No, I got no problem with this. All right, so you could have fancy cards, and I'm just gonna let you, let you have them. Um, what is it? Medium or a moderate speed? Grand Dragon's going to block it. Let's see if anybody else is going to block it. I bet you there's some really good 
ideas about what to do here. You have like plus three and plus two armor though, don't you? If you want. Plus three attack, plus two armor. Ugh, four armor? Gross. All right, how about this? Let's just try and block it there. All right, initiative? Initiative. I'm currently losing. I could jump uh, to not lose, but I don't care. So I got to assign my damage first. One damage to you. <laughs> Nailed it. Let's put two missiles here. Uh -huh. Let's uh, put seven. You got him. There. <laughs> Roll for the mi missiles. Resolve the missiles. Three damage. Three damage. Four armor. Nothing. Nothing. I'm fortified. But I buried him. <laughs> so buried. <laughs> um, and then we'll pass, guy. Okay? okay. Untap things. Draw two. First action. Play an assembly resource. Hmm. Second action here. What up, Dan? That's awesome. Glad to hear it. Two resources to activate this guy. Hover tank detachment coming into play. Mm, I love that card. That's right. You know it. We're going to go to the stack method here. Okay, so f two out of six have been used. All right. Let's go one, two, three, four, five here. Plus six is 11 for the Ryokin. He back. He's back. Guess who's back? And then one on this card here. And then, uh, all right. We've got, we've got our run of the board here, don't we? Hmm. Could try to kill those mercenaries. But they're draining your money. The Death Legion? They're so good, though, yeah. Isn't it so good? It's so good. All right, hey, how about this? Let's, um, what do you got? Med moderate? Moderate speed? It's fun to just remember that you can hurt the opponent's stuff. It's such a liberating feeling. I don't like that. Well, I'll get rid of it. Six, so I need to do two, three damage. Um, Grand Dragon's gonna attack your Chaparral missile tank. All right. Would you like to defend? Would you like to take three and lose it? And I think there's only a battle if you block for that card. Yeah. Man, Dan Solo, that is so awesome. Uh, you guys got me to buy some Star Wars TCG, Lord of the Rings, and Raw Deal. <laughs> That's My wife awesome. is less happy you guys do these. <laughs> Unless she loves Raw Deal. I'm not going to block. All right. Take three. Eight's gone. That's good. Let's get, we're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. <laughs> what up, John the Bard? That's good. Um, Banshee... Missile three is insane. Could be nine. Could be I nine. Can't, see, I can't attack you directly because I'm slow. But what I can do is uh, basically probably just stay put. I, I just want to ping that deck while it's, I it's like running R&D, right? Um, you can still use this, too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, no. Okay, I'm staying put. Mine. And the Ryokan A comes out to party. I got missiles now too, buddy. All right, let's draw. Don't forget to hold one if you want to keep your mercenaries on your side. Awesome, Dan. Get her to find her favorite wrestler. She likes fighting games and beating me down. Well, that's great. Broken Clay Vessel, we agree. We really dig Super Show. So you got in a Super Show. It's different than Raw Deal, but still fun. It's a... It's probably a more true-to-form wrestling game, honestly. That's kind of what we talked about on the podcast. You kind of expect it to be kind of high-flying, weird initiative going back and forth, and Super Show captures that extremely well. Shout-out to uh, uh, WAP 
Old okay. Chris. For paying for this. I'm paying to heal this. Getting us into it. And then I'm going to put three on this thing. Hmm. Clever. You're just healing your mechs up. What a good boss. <laughs> That's the sign. Do they heal the max or not? Machination says we should have a disclaimer. You guys uh, should say not responsible for broken relationships, marriages, or other such stuff. Well, we're not. So P particularly you put it on the collectible card games, getting uh, some love. That was really where we started. It was like, what could we do to really break up a lot of marriages <laughs> during this thing? <laughs> that's sarcasm. Yep. I hope that's obvious. You never know. It's in our mission statement. Sarcasm? No. <laughs> Breaking up marriages. Uh, okay. You done? Uh-uh. Now that the Ryokan's out, it's a bit of a different game. Now that I've got a wall. <laughs> Those mercenaries are garbage. I have to kill them. I'll pass. Kill them! Here comes Uller B. Kit Fox. <laughs> oh, Uller B. Who could forget? Just a classic. Ooh. Blur. Um, first deployment. Let's play that politics, finally. Nailed it. And uh, second deployment. Let's go here. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine resources. Let's put seven here on an awesome. Let's put one here. He's literally awesome. And then let's repair one on the Grand Dragon. You got it. Okay. Now, what are we going to do in the big times? You don't want to waste time with this little guy. Hmm. Okay, all right, all right, I get it. That beat it up. Bjorn says the only thing better than an awesome is another awesome. You know, I can't help but agree. Seems awesome. <laughs> Seems awesome. All right, man. Um, I think it's time to party. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this Banshee? or rather this uh, Grand Dragon mm -hmm. is going to attack your stockpile. My deck. Let's do some damage. Three damage coming in. He's poking at you. What's three cards? What makes a man, Lebowski? <laughs> Just a few cards. Just a few cards. Get wrecked, Zach. Get I'm gonna wrecked. block with Uller. Ah, yes. You fell into my trap. Uh, just kidding. Initiative? Tied? I'll sign my damage. Sign your damage. Do you want an alpha strike or just do three? Just three. So I've got to choose here, right? You got to choose to choose. Actually, I will alpha strike. Yeah. So I sign five. Good. Let's try to get you off the table. All right. Let's use the old hover tank to assign one. Yep. See if it stays in play. Nailed it. Awesome. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, then You're supposed we'll... <laughs> to use it better like I did. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and then we'll just do three there. That's still good. Resolve. Everything I'm guys. Keeping it tidy. Keeping it tidy. You're going to keep that board small. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the... I remember playing Thrones, and there's just some games where, like, the board is so complex. It's just I'm unfun. Just, I'm just over. And, like, I'm just done. Mm -hmm. I don't care anymore. That's why I play... There's one of many reasons I played Burn.
<laughs> like, I, <laughs> I remember, because you just get so scrappy. Like, I kill enough characters, and I don't plan. It's like I'm down to two things versus your one, and, like, that's not what people are used to playing as. Huh. All right. So what you're saying is... I, I gotta get that Puma off the table. It's driving me insane. I'm, I've got tunnel vision now on the Puma. Three missile is a real thing, right? Yeah. But those mercenaries. They ready to, I got a contract. I've been paying them. <laughs> That's so good. Pay him. All right, I'll pass. I'll Pay pass. that man his money. I'll pass. All right, ready. Goodness Draw. gracious. Oh my God. You have no idea what I'm dealing with here. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Bjorn, I'm loving your commentary here. Two resources here. I'm going to pay seven. You're actually carting the beads over? Mm -hmm. Is that like the biggest ambush of all time? <laughs> You're not ready for this card. 15 on it. We're not coming out yet. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's good. All right. <laughs> I'm going to repair one. And pay my contracts. Yeah. Pay him. Pay that man his money. Dude, is that a subterfuge thing? I don't know, dude. Am I go? No, dude. Oh, this guy's out. Awesome's out. Sorry. I just, I, I'm going to just bury. You're just a passer. Someone. I got the awesome out, man. Nothing's getting buried. I got big robots ready to go. He's slow, dude. I'm slow all around, yeah. You don't have any fasties, though, do you? Nope. Rio can you can always get in there. All right. Yeah, Broken Clay, what did they change whenever they were doing the um, whenever they did the redesign of the templating? Like did was it the same game, just a little bit less cool looking? Mad Gat's attacking Ryokin. Okay. <laughs> Come and get it. I'm doing uh, something. Okay, I'm doing something. You've got a fifteen something card over there. Garbage. It doesn't do anything. Apparently not. Eight, nine. Add an extra two. All right, we'll step right into this trap. I'm going to guard with a Banshee and add Ryok into the fight. Let's go. All right, initiative. I have it. You have it. You go first. All right. Missile one. I'm going to overheat two. Plus two attack. I'm going to assign nine. <laughs> and then I'm going to assign two more. Eleven total. You'll notice that number is important. Mine? Plus a missile in case you get frisky. Yeah, in case I'm it. frisky. <laughs> All right, let's do... First thing, I'll tap my contract with the Grey Death Legion. Right on. Plus three attack, plus two armor. Uh, use it during use a mission. It paying for it. If I receive five or more damage, I scrap this card. Oh! Cool. Okay. That might happen. Uh, then I'm going to play. So I'm at 12. I get Tap two it missiles. To do this. Yeah. Missiles. So I need to do seven. I'm going to do five there. Cool, Broken Clay. That's nice. And I've got two. Yeah, John the Board. That's correct. Uh, Got wife into thrones, but the board got too complex, and we both hated it, basically. <laughs> well, she hated it. I guess, John, you could might be willing to work through it. Uh, Mike Cook suggests an exceed as a good fighting game. It is that. Isn't it fun placing your missiles somewhere? Yes. Like that pile of, like, just incoming. Okay. So, we resolve. First missiles. You do a missile here. Take three. Just to put it here. <laughs> I've got two missiles on you. Nothing but nothing. Two. Taking two. All right, so I have Six, three, four, nine. five armor. So I'm going to remove five of these tokens. You get a missile, too. I did it you already. It, yeah. That was the three. Three, six, nine. Needed to hit the three and did. And then seven goes there. Six goes there. All right, so we'll do. These are actual damage that have been assigned. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight, nine. So yeah, two goes away. Take seven. Call me in the morning. 
That was a great fight. And then three, so this goes to a three from a six. Take four. Banshee can take some damage now. He's a, he's a beefy boy. And then did the mercenaries go away because they did five? Yeah. They don't want to fight for you. You're a losing contract. They go. And then I'll pass. All right. That was great. Battle. Battle. Okay, we may as well deploy an assembly resource and a mech here. You should be playing it, rolling it. Let's go. We're going to spend two here to activate a quick draw. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. So one on repair, Six, five, three, and then seven eight, here. Five, three, nine. What Six, are you doing? Seven, and then we'll convert this. Five becomes a six, and then two becomes mm. a two. I know what you're doing, that one card. You've got the same thing going on, man. I'm just trying to match your insanity. 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 Okay. And this is standing up. And then we go to the things where I get to have a good time. All right, Banshee, let's go. Or awesome, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's attack your deck. I didn't know Dune CCG was super rare. It is super rare. Wow. Did you try to find it? I haven't. I just, when I did look a couple years ago, it was like insane. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll block. Okay. Initiative, you win, so I go first. You go first. Isn't that awesome? That's a great system. Man, yeah. those three missiles, man. What the heck is wrong with you? I'm going to play Communications Failure. Put what? a static counter on each attacking mech. We'll just do one of these. Uh, each time a mech with a static counter would normally untap, roll a die. On a 1 through a 3, the mech remains tapped. On a 4 through a 6, uh, untap the mech and remove all static counters. <laughs> so you can literally stay static down for like love it so, so many much. turns in a row. I want to put that so we don't get missile confused. Mm -hmm. Um, let's do one we can actually see, I guess. And then I'm going to do three missiles and a damage <laughs> on you. You got static. All right, so 13, the max you do is 9, 10. Uh, so I'll do four here, and then I'll end up doing three. So let's go and overheat. So I'll take two more damage to add two to you. Let's see if we can get you off the board here. Okay, how about we resolve the missiles? <laughs> three damage. Three damage. So go. trade these three for those three. All right, let's resolve. Um, I'll take three armor off and take three to structure. And then over to you. I'll take a bunch. Five. So I'm off the table. Excellent. Now I can play my trap card. Banshee, two on the deck. You got it. Just two? Just two. Well, not my hover tank attachment. <laughs> not my intelligence. <laughs> All right, and then the quick draw comes out as a lone blocker as needed, and we'll pass it to you. Nine resources, you say. Ooh, is similar to old Elf of R, like the Middle Earth card game or the Elf of R TCG? That's so awesome. I'd love to find that. All right. Let's What's play, next, man? play here. Pain 2. It's been 15 on the Hunchback. <laughs> I'll also go ahead and just play a resource. Uh, then I'm going to flip this card over. It's just to retrieve Lost Mech that was a total gambit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Three on it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um... Old card game, getting hosed. Yep. 
You go, I got all this money and nothing to spend uh, on it. And then uh, end around. What's Here up, David? We feel good to see you. Hope you're well, also. Hope things are going well. Your turn. During the untap phase, roll. If you get a one through a three, stay static. You know I'm going to. Now, does this stay on forever? Until you get a four, five, or six. That's got a, a one. one. He's static. Oh, my gosh. That's. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Break it, break it. <laughs> Stay on target. Okay. Play a resource face down. Let's activate it. Let's go here for my third mm. deployment. And then. Uh, Let's spend some cash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See you, Thomas. Let's put eleven here. He's ready. Yeah, dude. I'm ready. Okay. Connor and Neil, let's go from Raw Deal to Mythos. Where does this game sit? <laughs> Good question. Simon asking if we're going to play some more Star Wars CCG. Uh, it's definitely a possibility. I have some new decks we might, might try in the stream at some point. Banshee, swinging at your deck for two. You got it. Mm. Am mm. I good? Mm hmm. <laughs> wow. Mike says there's a set of six Dune starters on eBay right now for $897. My gosh, that's amazing. Somebody buy that. Send them to us, would you? <laughs> All right, attacking your deck for two. You got it. All right. Ah. And then Commando comes out. Over to you. Remove a counter. Draw <laughs> two. Can he find his way out? A devastating assault from the inner sphere. Kurita. All right. Let's play here. And a resource. I'm going to pay five here. Man of War Prime. Ooh, I love the Man of War. Gargoyle. Um, end of my round. He's coming out. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this to... Attach it? Uh, guard oh, it. Oh, right. Guarding your deck. Okay. Because he's slow. He's slow. John uh, the Bard says, let's start a Dune CCG GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. We're going to try to untap. <laughs> You're good at rolling the thing you don't need. <laughs> they were not afraid of that mechanic. Dysphoria, if you have a Twitter account, hit, send me a, a message. One, two. I hope they're bad. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. That's great. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. would you look at that? Would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> I just drew an amazing card. OK. Um, I'm actually going to hold, stay put. I guess I'll go ahead and play another resource. Why not? And then we'll do 1, 12, 13, 14, 2, 3 here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're at the same. Uh, yeah, one, you have two, two of those cards that can just five, do six, 14 seven, damage when I attack. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's do four here and then five here. Christ. <laughs> Don't play anything cool. <laughs> Could just be some ambushes. You never know. Mm -hmm. There's a card in my deck that cancels all subterfuge uh, events. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if you have that one. OK, so what you're saying is you've got a medium mech. I need to do 10 damage to you. And I really just don't have that capacity, especially with my awesome just like over there talking to nobody. <clears throat> and I can do eight over here. Come in. Come in. <laughs> Come in. Awesome. Is anyone there? there? Awesome. Are you there? Hmm. 
Let's attack your deck. You can block here and get him in the way if you'd like, or you can block here if you'd like, or you can let it go through. If you block there, it'll tap, and so you won't be able to uh, defend again. Up to you. Yeah, a lot. Okay. Now we go to the initiative phase. Mm -hmm. I'm currently winning, so you will assign your damage first, and you can play one mission card. Can I alpha strike me like a dummy? <laughs> All right, two to me. Well, I've got to do two to you. <laughs> All right, cancel one from armor. Two out. Coming back home, boys. All right, now we go to the fun stuff. Hmm. I just can't get through that Man of War at all. <laughs> Nothing I can do. <laughs> Man so of War's I, ready. Um, I'll pass. All right, let's dance. Remove a counter. Draw two. Deck's looking a little thin over there. Let's pay four for the Grand Dragon. Mm-hmm. And... Don't forget you can repair it to you. I forgot that last turn. Yeah, I'll definitely pay one to repair. I'll just go ahead and do it. And then... Did you remove your lost mech counter? Yeah. Okay. Let's pay six. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Game's good. Game's fascinating. Yeah. I um, love it. I absolutely love it. Let's put the Grand Dragon out. Go ahead. Okay. Try to untap. Got it. That didn't count. Cox didn't back. get it. <laughs> the greatest card in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Could do nothing or everything. Uh, go ahead and tap for five turns. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, nothing but resources, man. That's what I had earlier. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Still three in my hand. This would be fixed, and this is what, um, I'm going to say it incorrectly because I think I'm saying it right, so then I know I'm supposed to say it wrong, and then I flip it, which is Hearthstone. Yeah. Hearthstone? Hearth. Hearth? I got it Hearth, right. yeah, because I always say it's like Earth, but that's wrong. So what they did Repair. is what I think ultimately this game should do, which is you just get a resource card every turn. Mm -hmm. So everyone has a flat ramp, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up to like 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The idea of them having different like types is cool. is cool. You need to utilize that. Just need to utilize it probably better. Yeah. Um, we'll put 6 here. <laughs> Good luck attacking. Sweet lord. <laughs> Brada. And let's go ahead and deploy two more resources, I guess, and we'll do two more. All right. Two yeah. more here. You coming at it? How much do we care? So last time you uh, did nothing. Um, I'm I'm in a tough spot until I can get something worth having. Two, four, six. I can't get rid of the retrieve lost mech. I don't have anything exciting there. Nope. Stay and put. All right, end of round. It's building. Retrieve lost mech clears. Put three operations counters on retrieve lost mech when you activate it. Remove an operation counter at the beginning of your turn. I did. When the last counter operation counter has been removed, scrap retrieve lost mech and return a mech from your scrap pile to play under your control uh, with counters equal to one less than the mech's structure. Mad Cat Prime mm -hmm. coming in with eight damage. Eight on him? Yeah. What? That's hilarious. I didn't know that. So basically one health left. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Far out. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> I peed in it. All right. <laughs> you guys are killing me on the chat. Thomas, it's static. I can't hear you. Repeat that, please. John Lombard, what? Too much static. <laughs> can't hear y'all. Steven, as the awesome pilot. I'm sure they'll call if they need me. <laughs> Play two resources. Let's, uh... Leave that. Come get you some ambush, man. Oh, heal one. I'm looking to do 7,000 damage to everything that comes in attacks. Pass. <laughs> Let's try to stand up. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> Pardon me, I'm gonna go try to find Awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have the perfect card. Nope. Ooh, this is so good. Hmm. Let's go here. Let's repair one. Let's put a resource out. So that would be the repair. And then let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's go four. So I've got ten left. You answer slips question? Six. I haven't. Slip asking what the win condition is. You have to deck your opponent. You do damage by discarding cards from their deck. Actually, you know what? No. No six. No four. Let's go ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's go fourteen here. Let's confuse you. <laughs> this is my constructed deck. You're welcome, Slip. Um, that'll tap all of that stuff, and then uh, I'm gonna pass as well. We see that we're in some sort of a the old Cincinnati standoff here. Go ahead. All right. Draw two. <laughs> Nathan Bradley. <laughs> Let's play two more resources. Oh, Let's nice. Yeah. One. <laughs> That's how the game works. Uh -huh. You could refine it, man. It's Pass. so clean. Pass. It'd be so clean. Let's try to stand up with the awesome. That's really what the game has turned into, has it not? <sighs> yeah. He's back. No one needs static. That was hilarious. Okay, draw two. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What an amazing card. That's such a cool card. <laughs> okay, um, let's go here for three. He back. He attack. He protect. <laughs> um, wow. Is that the cool card? No. <laughs> So we got three there, and then LA, and one, I probably two, three, got twenty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go twelve here. Twenty-one cards in deck. I called it. I'm gonna get a D twenty out. Andrew, you win by decking your opponent. You can attack their deck. Every damage you would do to their deck, they discard a card from the top of it. We're in. So what we're in right now is kind of like a, a ceasefire moment, which happens. I think in random starter decks, you're gonna see this, where it's like. There's just no actual good option for either side because we haven't built a deck to be good at having the options we want them to have. Yeah. So we're just kind of staring each other down. Um, and it's going to get really bizarre as the game goes on. And that's the end of my turn. Black Jack comes out. No attacks? Nope. Someday, all I'm going to draw... I'll draw a mech. <laughs> let's pay four for him, and I'll heal one here. We'll get a victor out. All right, go ahead. What's your vector, Victor? Victor, Victor, one nine. Mm hmm. How many cards you got left? Enough. So many. Um, let's play the Wolfhound for three. Just keep churning. Uh, we're gonna do one for a repair on the Banshee. Mm hmm. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here. Really kill something. Yeah, so it goes to 20 and 5. And unfortunately, we played before, so Zach probably knows that these are ambushes, which means if he attacks, I can pop them to do X damage to, based everything. to everything. So it's like, well, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Well, also, it's a miracle, honestly. <laughs> you haven't seen his droids? That, or mechs? Uh, that the first game went as smooth as it did. Yeah. 
where we both had low cost things that we could play and go back and forth. You had a little resource curve issues. But I think that's something that having the resources in the deck, Magic has the same problem, right? Still, mana screw. Yeah. Um, which is just not getting resources or getting all of ma mana flood and getting all the resources up front, um, which is a, a common, I think that's probably the biggest critique and flaw of that ideology that later got fixed, right? You need this guy defending. Yeah. So that's, it's that's cleanable. That's where I think you can just fix that and it changes everything. Steven's definitely ahead. He's got a bigger deck. Mine? Yes. All right. Pay one for my. If it technically go here, Trebuchet. I'll pay for it. I'll pay one to repair. Pass to you, and I'll, okay. I'll play a resource. Why not? How many cards are in your deck? Just curious. Nineteen. Acquiring minds want to know. Seventeen. Okay. Need a rep. I lost my. I lost your mic. First action, draw two. It's a good time to lose your mic. Yep. Dita Rabbit says, you guys must do a lot of prep for the streams with all those pop-ups. Yeah, it definitely takes some work. We built some systems to make it uh, somewhat easier, but there's still a lot of uh, work there, and that's all John and Bryce getting that done. <laughs> that's the awesome card. Okay. Let's go... That's a good point, Andrew. Ryokin for seven. Oh, uh, no. That's a terrifying name. So he's going to be coming out. And now you've activated my trap card. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm activating my trap card. With what, 30? How many were on it? Holographic decoy. Go ahead and read that one for me. Zero cost. Scrap holographic decoy when it's revealed. Tap one mech for each three construction above the cost of holographic. <laughs> You're tapping all my mechs. I'm tapping them all. <laughs> oh, no. Attack for 17 on your deck. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let me see what I got. <laughs> Probably one at a time. <laughs> I got nothing. You win. Yeah, hey, that was great. Right. High five. decoy. <laughs> Air high five. Okay, here's the thing. We were planning on being down by five, and it's almost five. Yeah, it is five, which is great. You have a thing to uh, go yeah, to, Yeah, right? but hey, this this was surprisingly fun. Um, the uh, It's like if we had a booster box right now, I would so be like, let's open like six packs and just like it. see what we want out of those packs, change our decks, play, keep doing it over and over. It'd be such a fun drafting game too if yeah. the resources were accounted for. You get like two of every kind or something. Like if you had a, little, a side deck that's literally like, let's say three of all resources, mm -hmm. so it's 15, you shuffle that up, and it's like round one, you flip the top one over. Because right now we're just top decking those resources, right? Yep. And maybe you can control that, what's in there. To well, let's just extent. put a face down as a resource. Yeah. That's easy. I think that's actually Tap something. That's actually the play right there. Yeah. Um, which is just like any card can go face down as a resource. Um, then you have to have a lot less resources then, but you get benefits for running specific resources. So there's the balance. So then you got to run. Come it, on. Right? And then if you want, want to run mechs that are just general mechs that don't require any of the the icons to get penalized, you just you're the factory player. Look at this banshee. But that's where like it's just four, so you can do all face down what cards and probably do is pick the two types I really want to play. Yeah. Right? And the two benefits I really want. Yeah. I would put four or five of each of those in my deck, and the rest would just be face downs. And, and then attacking them out. is way more relevant, because like, you would probably yeah. have one or two out, and it's like, i got to get those munitions off the table. Those missiles are totally. out of control. I, I totally agree with that. So this was super fun. Uh, clear to see. Uh, this is definitely a Richard Garfield game. Mm -hmm. It's somewhere in the middle of Netrunner and Magic to me, like in, in what it's doing, and there's concepts floating around. Yeah. And like you see the health armor thing that shows up later in something like Keyforge. It was in Magic as well, I think, to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Um, so this was super fun, especially the like... The assign damage, deal damage, cleanness. You can only play mission cards during your turn. There's not that interrupt and cycle that's going on. the mission is tied to your initiative. Yeah. And you only have so much initiative. Like, Give us that back. I'm tired of all these timing charts, man. Yeah. Hey, Connor, John's dog, Bogey, is just Doing fine. great. He's doing great. I little, see you asking the questions. A little less love now because there's a baby. So, you know, you but dogs he's, get second fiddle. He's a good fiddle, dog. He's, he's a great dog. He's, he just he's, hangs out. He's very calm and peaceful. And he's just doing awesome. Uh, so this was great. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, we're going to get out of here. We've been doing Throwback Thursday streams. We're going to keep doing that, revisiting old games. Uh, it was a privilege. You guys were a great uh, chat audience. Yeah, it's awesome if you're watching this so later, many people watching BattleTech. I didn't expect that. Yeah, it's great. It's super fun. I love the game. Thank you guys. We will see you shortly. I'm going to go uh, man the buttons. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to get out of here. Be safe, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for a little Freaky Friday. We're playing some Arkham Horror, continuing the Carcosa cycle. Be safe, and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow.